Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hip Tesla, <laughs> your usual host, with a co-host today. We have with us, if I did this right, we have with us someone else. Oh, gonna work. Senpai Trash TV. <laughs> Who am I? Kind of loser. I don't belong here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome, Senpai. Good to have you here. It's your boy. So this is something we're gonna do something something completely different <laughs> we'll say playing single player game but two guys from two different parts of the world uh hosting yeah. it something <laughs> let me see you sound quieter than when we talk hold on 100 percent let's try 100 and three, two, one. keep talking oh we didn't do the uh -oh. audio test uh -oh. so I had a corn dog today. It was actually pretty good. I don't know what else to say. That's all the things I can say. Sa Sasha will tell us. Like Sasha, like, Sa Sa Sasha will tell us if we have uh... guest appearance to raise ratings. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you hear John? I mean, I'm technically always here anyway, so. Dang. Yeah, that's that's true. That's that's true. Here, hundred percent. It's good to have you in voice. It's gonna be a lot easier to do some things. But open the chat because <laughs> the chat is really, really slow, as we know. This is my first time, hippie. Be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> you will never become a man if I'm gentle. <laughs> I'm just trying to ease my way into this, you know what I mean? Just slide up into your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I missed you, man. I missed talking to you. Like, lately, it's always been one way. <laughs> yeah, one is yeah, talking, the other one's talking. It's like sad boy hours. I'm gonna cry now. Hey, look, it's a giant spaghetti monster. Oh. <laughs> What, what the fuck are you talking about, boy? It's a Hydra. I was talking oh, okay. about the Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the past, all right, Hippie? You're going to be more in like, the future than me, so... Well, it's not too far. Here, I'll tell you. Like, what, let's, see what the, let's see what the difference is. So right now... Wait, oh, what's something? Right now Turn it's changing from Termina head. to Termina near the tent. Okay, they're running past yeah, Termina tent. Yeah, yeah, it's the old lady. Or the old dude. At the statue, I was transferring. Okay, okay, so it's like five to seven seconds difference. Cool, 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 cool. Yes, Lufka, you should leave us alone. <laughs> this is a private party. <laughs> yeah, and only the only the, the the boys are welcome to hand holding or whatever weird shit we do. It says skipped frames. Why? Because I have because it's sixty frames stream plus. Discord, I guess. So you know Stream how much of... data like OBS needs just to like contain my voice. <laughs> it's gotta be that. Yeah, that's that's it. Yep. Yeah. I'm hard to process. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, it's doing good now, I think. Nope. Boys are us. Mm, oh my. Oh boy. Well, I think, you know what? Maybe it'll be easier if we go to my server uh, in stream. So let's meet up there, right? Alright, I'll be there. Alright, give me a second. Zoom. This is usually not a thing, but I can see that it's struggling. It's not the first time we streamed in uh, 60 frames per second. In stream, join voice. Zoop. Uh, I'm back. Okay, let's see now. 58, 59. Why? It's like the usual thing, Streamlabs. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's better. It's at 60. I forgot now. my pants. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's get into this. I can hear the game. I can hear you. That's all we wanted. So, welcome everyone. Hi, Lupka. Hi, Waluigi. Wup. <laughs> so, I always want to say that wrong. Wumping Waluigi. That's like two W's in, the, in, the, in, in like in one name. And 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 Mayo. Hello, Mayo. Good to see you, Mayo Sasuna. 
How are you guys doing over there? So we haven't played this in three weeks, so we're just calculating. 1744, that's the last save. Uh, but, we do remember where we were. We were on SS Zelbus, busting some ghosts. <laughs> Since Ghostbusters is taken, we had to call it Ghost Clusters. It's one of the hippie dumb jokes. Just live with it. Alright, can you see the game? I can see everything. Oh, that's good. You should be. Hey, by the way, hippie's not wearing pants. You guys just don't know. <laughs> Nothing below the waist. Nothing below the camera borders matters on stream, so. <laughs> you wanna know who's. You wanna know who's in charge of the key? I don't know. Well, thanks a lot, man. That doesn't help. Yeah, Mayo, same here. It's very hot, as you can see. Uh, by my attire. <laughs> this is like last resort. You can't get to stream shirtless, so. Some people say you could turn off your camera, and I'm like, yeah, you could take your eyes out as well. <laughs> or really, it kind of feels empty. Damn. <laughs> just, just poke your eyes out, and you won't have to see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just be blind, please. Alright, ghosts or ghouls? Rates, I'm sorry, rates. So let's remember how did this work? Yeah, we go two two three. Actually it was one two three, one two three. Like my my mind wants to do three three three, but that's impossible, right? <laughs> So we had some uh, white spells here. What did I what did I use? Let's dash and slash one of these fuckers. Like that one there. He's looking at me funny. I love that animation, never gets old. How he stops after he slices them. You know what I mean? Who sliding? Oh. Surge. Yeah, you know when he does like dash and slash? Like dash and slash, yeah, that's yeah. the way I look when I'm like replying to a message in, in uh, <laughs> Discord to you. <laughs> you stop, like, like you, you reply and then you stop for a pose. <laughs> yeah. It's coming there dabbing though. Uh, Fortnite, Fortnite, okay, no. <laughs> <sighs> Why do we that's have Razzly in the party? Somebody wanted Razzly. I never played with her. Was it, uh... Yuka? It could be Yuka, Yuka and Sasha. <gasps> or maybe it was Sasha, uh, yeah. Wait, Razzly can attack multiple enemies at once? Okay. Yes. I didn't know that. She's an AoE. That is fucking awesome, I didn't know that. She is awesome. I love her. Uh, like, when I played this the first time, I was like, this is just a little fairy, what's she gonna do? Look, this guy has a two-handed sword. Just beat the shit out of everything. Yeah. She's a monster. There she is, just like raining fire. She's all cute and cuddly and she just unleashes hell upon her enemies. Hi, Serge. I'm gonna drink your soul. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like little Nicky when uh, when he, when he yes. passes out. Yes, you know what I mean. I will eat your heart. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> The way he turns around. That's one of my favorite out of seven movies. Yeah, same here. Love it. Great movie. Everybody should watch it like right now. Stop watching the stream go. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. No, please don't. Like, no, no. Stay. Stay. <laughs> don't you dare. Let's go straight to three. Phew, cool. Well, we got to a point where Kid can crit with 100 damage. The numbers are getting bigger. Oh, not Hell Soul and Surge. Once upon a time, I wish Kid would have critted me. <laughs> Back in the old days. Yeah, I mean, was the older we get, the uh, just gets more inappropriate, you know. Like when I was yeah. a teenager, I was like, yeah, look at Kid, but now I'm like, oh, well, God, to like, be fair, in like 2000 when the game released, I was a kid, so you know what? It's relevant. Leave me alone. She, yeah, she was older than us. Well, she was older yeah, than me when the game came out. I was I was a, a yo lad. A <laughs> yo lad. Barely read. <laughs> like I think Final Fantasy IX actually taught me how to read. 
Wait, that was the same year, man. What the hell did you do yeah, over there? Yeah. <laughs> well, did you go to school or you just like homeschool? Here, take these RPGs. When you're done with them, you'll know everything. I, I brought my PS1 to school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to bring I my mean, Tamagotchis. Like, right well, Tamagotchis. I had a Digivice. I didn't have the Tamagotchi things. Yeah, I remember back then when the teacher was like, uh, you can't have that in class, but now it's like, cell phone. Yeah, it's just... If you're talking to you, please, please be quiet. The, the rest of the kids are trying to learn. It's different nowadays, man. Yep. Let's do something weak, white on this guy. Uh, photon ray. Photon ray attack! Uh -huh. yeah. I love how these ghost rates fall down. Uh, when you defeat them, they just fall down like kind of like candles. Like Jason in Friday the 13th. <laughs> Because they accepted it finally. Yep. <laughs> they fucking plank. <laughs> <laughs> plank. Yeah, that's a good description. Plank. Let's remember to pilfer. I just gotta do it to remember. Healing is good in RPGs. Don't steal in real life, but steal in RPGs. <laughs> See, you gotta heal. Yeah, I'll just hear my son in the background. He's having fun right now. So. How dares he have fun while we're streaming? Yeah, how dare children have fun? Impossible. Because we in, in my motherland, we do not <laughs> have fun in our homeland. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm so tired. <laughs> did you see? Did you ever see the uh, Archer episode when he goes to Russia and he uh, like he's like running away from these um, <laughs> like communist policemen? <laughs> And uh, he sees these kids, like, he jumps out of the window, jumps on broken glass where they're playing. He's like, how is this happy playtime? Like, go kick a dead cat or something. <laughs> go kick a dead cat or something. <laughs> oh, man. In Kumi, I used to watch Russia, we, Archer we at work. No fun. You did? Yeah, like, oh, during our lunch breaks, we'll be playing on the TV when we went out there. Good times. I only saw bits and pieces of the whole show, like not, not like you know specific episodes, not like whole episodes. I just remember someone dying from a tree. <laughs> from what? Someone got crushed by a tree. I don't remember. I don't remember much. I'm trying to remember what oh. it is. I watched the whole show twice, and like that. I remember you know, there being. That's it. Some situation, like sometimes I watch a show with uh, watch an episode and you know how they get into those. It's like Arrested Development, really. A lot of Arrested Development actors are uh, were in Archer as well. I love that fucking show. By the way, I'm just gonna Arrested Development. Is that what you mean? I'm like Ron Swanson. Wait, Arrested Development? No, I mean the. I think we don't mean the same show, do we? Is that uh, with uh? That's when they're all working in that office, right? No, <laughs> no, that's no. Maybe that's, that's no. Like... I'm thinking of a different show. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know which one you think. I mean, I didn't watch that one, but yeah, Arrested Development is the one with um, with little Michael Sarah, um, with I forgot his name. Jessica Walter, who played Mallory in Archer, is there. She plays the mother. Jeffrey Tambor is the dad. Basically, he's got this. Um, construction company in Orange County, California, and uh, he's in a lot of shady dealings. So his youngest son is trying to pull everything out. All the kids are like adults, and kids have kids. It's like, it's narrated by, what's his face? Um, Dan, who directed Apollo 13. Can't remember the name of the guy. He's a very famous director. He's the narrator. It's a miracle show. I would advise everyone to watch. It's it's a kind of comedy that's not like ha ha comedy. I mean it is, but there's no laugh track. There's nothing. It just looks like it looks like a reality show almost. The, the format they did with it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I had to look it up to remember. Okay. I remember this show. Yeah. It's so yeah. There a lot of talent from there went to Archer, and you can tell. Like, I'm gonna say at least three or four actors from Archer are there. I forgot David his Cross. name, that David Brother. Um, 
has Jason uh, Bateman, Portia D. Rossi, Will Arnett, Michael Sarah. Yes, yeah, Will Arnett. Remember that's like yeah, Michael Sarah's in it. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> as a kid before yeah. Scott Pilgrim, before everything. Yeah, because I remember that's where I, I learned about him, or like before before Scott Pilgrim, I was like, hey, this kid looks familiar. Oh, that's what he was from. Yeah, it did came, come out like a, a long before Scott Pilgrim, but I watched Scott Pilgrim first and then Arrested Development, so it was. I already Scott. liked him. <laughs> Lupka says, if I remember correctly, you were carrying your GB with you in school. Yeah, I, 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 I was. I did. And the teachers didn't like it. <laughs> I, I wanted to play something so bad that I remember I played even like FIFA 98. I, it's, it's football. Who gives a fuck, man? I'm playing something on the go. Football. Hey, Snake. This is a John and Hippie duo. Yep. <laughs> just hit my elbow on my tower. What does this guy want? Arr, it got me. That's right there. Waiting. Damn it all. So it's, this is not a duo that everybody wanted, but it's the one that they needed. <laughs> How are you doing, Snake? It's been a while, man. I haven't seen Snake since... Well, I haven't seen him stream since... Like in two months. Great Depression. Ago. Since Great Depression. Since the Great Twitch Depression, yeah. I saw him, I think the most recent stream I saw uh, Maxi having uh, was... Uh, uh, Metal Gear 1. I think I was playing Metal Gear Solid the last time I watched him stream. I think that was his last stream lately. Or was it Silent Hill 3? Fuck, I can't remember. <laughs> it's all melting together. It is. It's how it be. We... We... We, 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 we... Resident Evil 6. Okay. I missed that one. Damn. Oh. Doll, bitch. You two together are the bomb. Well, thanks, Snake. We tried to detonate. Ha 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 ha. And that's how I lost all my power. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. RE6. Nice. Yeah, despite... I think it's known by now, but I actually like RE6 more than 4 and 5. To play, at least. It's, I, the story is... Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's very fun to play. It's in co-op. Like 5, uh, it's something I would never play single player. There's just no point. You thought Outbreak bots were bad. Wait! Wait till you see what Helena does if you leave her alone. <laughs> what did you say? You can't get through the hallway? Damn it all! But that's all you can say? Then go through the vent, damn it all! <laughs> I guess that's his... <laughs> that's his... Okay, that's the vent. We'll come back here. You're welcome, Maxie. That's his... Um... What's the word? Catchphrase. <laughs> Oh, we gotta fight. It's them ghosts again. Yeah, here I think you have to talk to everybody at least three times. That you save. Oh, three times. This guy told me about Yeah, I think, I, think it was three, I think it was three times. Shit, I should have killed him first. Something like that. <laughs> oh, man, that fucking hurt. You know what? You're the first to go because of that. I could finish the ghost. No, don't be vain. Finish the ghost. Well, it's okay if you're fighting the enemies anyway. You're going to be getting iron off of them anyway. Which is going to be really helpful. Yeah, that's true. I just... This guy, like, beat the shit out of me for no reason. Could have saved this me. is what's going to get you that upgrade that you need to be strong. Fuck, photon beams are no joke. Well, they fucking hurt, especially with somebody with good magic against a uh, black element. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> God. Well, the first one was photo photon ray, so that's why I was like, yeah, it's not much. Let's do something more with more oomph, and then this guy just falls down, hundred damage. 
shot. Like the yeah. equivalence of like high fiving someone and then slapping them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> high five. It's like oh that didn't really do much and just slap. <laughs> Yeah, I like mercenaries. Yeah, everybody plays mercenaries. The only mercenaries I ever played was in RE3, and that one I still have gripes with it. Sometimes I still boot it up and I curse up and down, left and right. Fucking anybody but Mikhail. I will go kiss my crotch goblin. I'll be right back for uh, Yubika. Okay. Okay, man. <laughs> Wesky also plays. Um... Hello there. Rusky also plays mercenaries. I should try that. I don't know, I just played Resident Evil games for Resident Evil games. Mercenaries like an arcade thing. See, the first mercenaries I played after the mercenaries uh, Mad Jack Operation Mad Jackal was RE Resistance. I always saw that as like a mercenaries game because of the time limit and everything. Ow, that hurt you asshole. I'm gonna have to illuminate you. <clears throat> yeah, he does. So what are we gonna do with you? We're gonna photon ray you. But, 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 just a little one. Just a zap. What are you gonna do to him? What are you, what are you doing to me, hippie? <laughs> Not you. you doing with ray? I'm, <laughs> I'm illuminating these assholes. <laughs> that sounds wrong. When, you, when I think about it, that's not that's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> Shut up. I, I need to see where these assholes are. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, I, she's very cute when when uh, Pilfer fails, like kicks a rock. Prepare to be razzed, bitch. Uh. Let's play on name Razzle Dazzle. Get it? Wait. That's like when someone's been stunned by something, right? Razzle Dazzle. Yeah, pretty much like Dazzle, I guess. Dazed. Oh, yeah, God, yeah. yeah. So that's why she's yeah. Razzly. I'll also be eating Cheetos popcorn in the background, so don't mind me. Well, bon appetit. What's this guy? Phew, thanks for the help. Huh? Who are you? Oh, yeah. You're the landlubbers we threw in the... Uh, I should have pirate accent for these guys. We threw in the hold, but how did... I guess it doesn't matter now. So, where do you plan to go? Or well, wherever you let me... A key. I have no idea who has it. Uh, that's all he says. Okay, will you let us through through the door? Like, that would help, no? Okay. Screw you, buddy. That's so impolite. So rude. Our key. Sorry, I'm not in charge. Damn it all! He's in a bad mood. Okay, we'll use the vent. As soon as I check these lower rooms, nothing in the barrels. Okay, that's locked. There's fire in the ship that's made of wood. I'm not gonna comment on that. It's not spreading. I guess it's been oiled up pretty well. Oh, sir, are you okay there? What the hell is going on? Richard! <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? All right, wait. Get slapped. Not, 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 don't slap. I said get slapped. You get Let's do a photon raid, because I'm gonna need them spells. Actually, no, it's just two enemies. But I still, my brain still can't comprehend that I'm actually better at this than, you know, when I first played it. 
so there's not much fear of actually dying. I gotta, I gotta burst your bubble with magma. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, he's alive? Razzly? Your turn. Let's do an ice blast. What? Blech. Judge him. Everyone's in truth HP. Okay. It's indescribable. <laughs> what, my face or like Sergi's face? What did I do? She found a capsule. Arr, don't just stand around, you land lovers. Help out. Well, I've been helping out this whole time. If you've been paying attention, you asshole, I'm not gonna save you. One, two, and then three. What's up? Ah, oh, the missed. Okay. Yes, it's time for a photon beam. La 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 la. You've been illuminated. Okay, the enemy. We're getting to the part of the game where enemies actually can. Strike painfully, so to say. But it's gonna be more interesting. Let's go for it. Stole one iron. Yeah, that's why, like in this part, as John said, it's especially pays stealing from these undead. Ah, take a knee in front of your queen, Razzly. Electro Joe. You know what? I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna kill you with electricity. Why is that nice? I don't know. <laughs> Bleh. They just... They fall opposite of all physics. So... <laughs> you would expect him to fall backwards, but he kind of falls forward. Plus... His legs go backwards, like, he just twists and falls. I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't have the key. And that's all he says. What about you? You got more lines? What the hell's going on? Okay. It's a ghost invasion, man. Get the fuck up. Start, stop sleeping. Get up. We gotta defend the ship. There's fire under the deck. Still not spreading, but I would, I would still check it. <laughs> Well, we could push the ghosts into the what fire. Hurts. What did you say? What? What Nothing. did you say? <laughs> I, 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 I didn't say anything about illuminating buttholes and having butt pirates on the ship. What? <laughs> Let's illuminate these assholes. No. <laughs> Let's illuminate these assholes and they're all butt pirates. Makes sense. Do you think it's a bug? Butt pirates. Well, a bug of what? So, you know, like when you, when an enemy that you're attacking, like mid your attack phase, attacks you, your accuracy goes down, right? But if the same enemy attacks someone else, your accuracy doesn't go down, which I can only imagine while you're beating the shit out of them, they try to beat the shit out of someone else, and that's why it doesn't go down. Because I always thought it's kind of a good bug, like if he's walking to protect someone else. I, I think it to... has some kind of, like logical explanation for it that I don't have but that sounds quite right <laughs> <laughs> and that well, sounds that's accurate it makes sense yeah yeah <laughs> yeah 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 what are we walking now <laughs> yeah I meant more like Enrico yeah Enrico yeah <laughs> Enrico <laughs> yeah there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's not like I was shot, Jill. 
<laughs> I love, like, I like, I always liked how he grunts before he gets even shot. He goes, ah, oh, and then you hear. Umbrella. Someone oh. is a traitor. <laughs> oh god, like I love, I love OG Resident Evil One. Yeah. Just because of that voice acting. Yeah, there's some magic to it. Umbrella. No, don't come this way! That's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> so much was lost in translation that day. It's as if they translated a manga, you know? like the, the, Because, you know, it's written in... It was written originally in Japanese, then translated to English, right? But... <laughs> my god, sometimes when they say those lines, like, no 80s uh, cheesy anime can <laughs> hold the head to that. I think I left my sink on. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. By the powers! How did you guys get out? Ah, forget it. We have more serious matters to worry about. Will you let me through, please? Huh? Now what? You can't get through here. Monsters all are all over the deck. What? A key? Aye, mateys. Who's there on the key duty? And who I am? Oh, hello there. Who is it? You? You're the key for the door downstairs, eh? Here you go. Sirs, receive the key. You should be able to make your way to the deck with that. Please help out, Captain Fargo. Another way to get on deck is by going through the arsenal downstairs and making your way up from the outside. Let me repeat that. <laughs> and then says the same thing. <laughs> it's golden. So, through the arsenal downstairs, and then, yeah, okay, that's how we're gonna get there. I knew something in chat smelled. Haha! <laughs> Vomping Waluigi is on the case. Comrade Vomping yeah. Waluigi. Duh. There's a certain charm to Slavic people mixing up D's and W's. And I love, I especially love it when Chekhov does it in the original Star Trek. <laughs> Captain, we are intercepting a vessel. <laughs> <laughs> a what? <laughs> <laughs> a wessel, a vessel. Captain. You know. Vessel. A vessel. <laughs> a vessel. Who's whistling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's the key? No, I'm eating. I'm eating Cheetos popcorn, cheddar baby. Mm. Oh no! That sounds really no, tasty. Got... I got cheddar. I got fucking cheddar dust all over my fingers now. Where the fuck is my key, man? It just says you receive the key, but it's not here. It's not a key item. I just wanted no. to see what it looks like. That's weird. Probably they didn't. Uh, what's the word? They didn't illustrate. No, like design it, and then they were like, "Yeah, you know what? We're not gonna show this key." Fuck you, you don't get the key. Wait, it says it's locked. How do I unlock it then? That is not the door you were searching for. Wait, they're all locked. That's not locked. But I've been here, right? Yeah, that's the guy who doesn't want to move. Okay. Maybe it's this one. Use the key. But well, it's just the key, really? Yep. <laughs> it's it's literally not even a special key item. It's just like just a key. Just one use, huh? Yep. This is just a key with no description. Okay, good pullback, Surge. What now? Well, let's give him a dash and slash. Not as powerful as it was, that's sad. What? Oh, look, 132. I, the I hell was that? Was that good? 
No, that's Surge's uh, dash and slash stats. Oh, oh no. Yeah, now I see it. <laughs> I'm in the past, forgive me. Yeah, sorry, you probably hear everything twice, too. Uh, for that, I do apologize. That's why I look like signing into those DMs with that dash and slash. <laughs> you know, my buddy Joseph, he's got a little, he's got a point, like, he, he asked, well, how is it like 2022 and we still, like, have lag in games and some games don't even work with certain internet configurations and, you know, like, from an engineering standpoint, it makes sense why it's like that, but he's right, like, why the fuck isn't it different? It should be, we have the technology, like, we know we have fucking fiber optics, so, uh, why... Why would it, you know, be like? Why isn't it the standard? If we all had fiber optic, we'd have like a, a few milliseconds lag at most. But the progress is. I wish I had the answers. It's, that's the thing. See, the, the capitalism is. It works. <laughs> There's a lot of progress due to the whole, you know, monetary reward. But it, as much as it pushes progress, it at the same time, 50-50, it pushes like against progress with things like that it's weird Duh. why do you have battery by your name china what battery by what name the tesla battery by your name oh she I probably means tesla. like the 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 element grids yeah so that shows which magic is available every time i hit someone you look at that now i hit him we get another oh he's dead but yeah every time you hit you get you can use one more level of magic and skills. I was just... Oh, really? He does? Ah, look, I got a squint to see that. Yeah, it's because he's turboed. Yeah, if you he's hover over it, it's turbo. Energy. He's the super turbo turkey puncher. Yeah, he, he throat punches turkeys on a daily basis. basis so. <laughs> it's okay, you can touch him. He's a great person, regardless. <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> <laughs> he threw a punch of turkeys, but he's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I love him to death. I'm glad he's here with you guys. <laughs> These are Man of Wars, right? Man, Deadbeats. These are Deadbeats. Okay. Yeah, okay. those are the, the the head skull things, or whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Let's do a photon beam. Photon beam attack! La 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 la! <laughs> These spells are always more powerful with sound effects. Look, just one one hit kill. If I didn't do that, it wouldn't work. Yeah, that's why I said photo, photo, like any like photon beams here are just disastrous on everything. Just blast them into nothing. Those guys really don't like the light. That's why we're illuminating the assholes. That's how it started. <laughs> You're just like holding your flashlight to everyone's ass. So <laughs> <laughs> <Sir>, stand still. <laughs> is... I can, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cavity Illumination Squad. <laughs> <laughs> I love the details. Sure, I don't need I don't need my examination now. It's like, well, you need it now. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad now, yeah. You've been illuminated. Next, please. Someone get my glove. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. No. Before I leave this room, I just want everyone to take a look at this. Look at the details, like all this shit in the background. Love it. Pre-rendered backgrounds were something already. Those are balls, by the way. <laughs> In case anybody Ooh. was wondering. Well, look at the, the, my collection of balls. <laughs> They're shiny. Uh, speaking of gloves and illumination, I saw recently a 9gag. They have like a glove which has... LED flashlights and like little, what are these called? Not knuckles, but little, um... <laughs> this part of your finger, that... God damn it. <laughs> the joint? The joints, thank you. So like, yeah. on, on, on joints you have little, uh... Flashlights, so wh whichever way you move your fingers, it illuminates. Good for like, you know, when you're fixing something, especially like... 
under the sink or in an engine where you can't hold a flashlight, perfect. But I think that love would work very well for asshole illumination duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, what, sticking a finger up your butt? <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> I can see it. No. No. Like for your examination. I imagine, imagine like, <laughs> imagine getting to doctor for a prostate exam, and he's like, he's up all up in the business, and says, "Can you guess how many fingers I'm holding up?" <laughs> <laughs> Just one, because I'm all thumbs, baby. <laughs> no! <laughs> God damn it, John! <laughs> oh. Not Doctor Sausage fingers, anything but you. <laughs> 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 oh god yeah that would that, actually i never thought about it that would be a factor in that examination definitely <laughs> i would cry i would uh, cry i would run actually you know what no screw that i'd be like i don't need it if i get ass cancer i don't give a shit bye <laughs> imagine getting there now this is all just like off the top of my head but, but imagine getting there you're and the nurse goes like uh, your regular doctor's not in, though, but we got a we got a, we got a substitute. What's what, what, what's he like? Oh, he's uh he used to wrestle uh, Russian bears. Uh, he's from Russian mountains. His he's got really strong arms. You're in you're in good hands. And, like he's coming in like hello, comrade patient, and he's like his thumb is like as as wide as as thick as your like whole wrist. <laughs> Come, I fix you. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, all hands over here. <laughs> all hands on deck. Oh, we're on a ship. I'm done. Oh my god. Okay, let's I'm derailing focus. your tree. <laughs> let's focus on the game because we've really gotten off track here. <laughs> uh, what do you want, guy? Arr, in the name of Davy Jones, I can't believe you made it here. That's quite impressive, mateys. Would you like I some of my homemade it. vitamin drink? I think this can like cause like a status effect. I don't know if it's random, look, look, random night. I can't speak randomized or not. Well, fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. Sure. But it does heal you. Resident was poisoned. Help. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. Well, it's in still in the testing phase. Ha <laughs> ha Well, thanks a lot, Dick. You poisoned my fairy. What do I do now? <laughs> My fucking fairy's poisoned. <laughs> poisoned my fairy. Uh, elements use antidote. Wait, yeah. no, that's not it. Antidote. I, yeah, you want the items. There you go. Woo! Okay, I didn't expect him. Why weren't you there on the inside, Mr. Ghost? Great. Holy shit, new enemies! Tsetse fly! You know that thing exists? It doesn't look like this though. I mean, Tsetse flies exist. Yeah, I think those are red elements though. Oh wait, no, they're black. Never mind. I thought they were red elements. Yeah, I had to check too, I wasn't sure. So like, if if I remember correctly from... Um, through the desert and wilderness, uh, if it sets a fly... Bites you, you just fall asleep and you never wake up. You die in your sleep. Like people sleep for days and then they just die. Damn, that's that's, that's dark hippie. This, yeah. this turn from like blood examinations to just like getting bitten and falling asleep and dying. What is this? What is this stream? <laughs> <laughs> it's got you and me in it, man. It's gotta be weird. <laughs> yeah, it kind of flops all over the place. It's like a a fish out of water. That's that's a good representation of how this is gonna go. A Megacarp stream. Yes. Look at the frame rate. We are, like a, we are a Magikarp. And then it's like steady on the over here where there's nothing to draw, it's super 60. And then as it turns towards the character, it goes. Oh, yeah. oh I see that. Yeah, it's really annoying. Because I remember a, how smooth it was on the PS1. It's just embarrassing. Yeah, I still got like two copies. Two I think copies. one copy doesn't work. Yeah, I think oh. one copy doesn't work, though. Oh. Something must have happened when I was a kid. I don't know. I don't even remember. I was a shithead. Maybe I fucked it up somehow. But I do have two copies. Did you jam on your on your game? No. I, I think it just got scratched somehow over time. 
you know, because I have, I think I have the, the green label and I have the black label. Uh, yeah, what's I can't the, remember what's which the difference? one it has. That's perfect you mentioned uh, it. I'm really interested in what's the difference. The one I have is the green label, and I thought yeah, it was the di forgery. Yeah, the discs look different. The, di the discs look different. Is um, it like a second printing? I uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much like uh, you know a greatest hits kind of thing like that they even did on the PS2. They just re re release the game, you know. Uh, like for like collectors, it's a big thing. It's a huge thing when it comes to the labels like that. Yeah, I've seen on because, eBay like black yeah. labels get uh, get to be way more expensive often. Yeah, because I think the discs are different too for Chrono Cross. Uh, I, I think on. If I knew where my fucking games were right now for my PS1, I could like pop it out and look. But I think I think uh, one one of, one of the two have um, have Surge on it or something like that, and uh, Kid or something like that. Yeah, different two. Shit. Let me check. Actually, mine uh, is right here. Yeah, it's something around. like that. I'm just gonna. I'm pretty sure I like yeah, the I, I think the other one just has Chrono Cross on it or something like that for the disc. If I if I had my PS1 uh, cases, I could I could look at them, but I, I have no idea where my Chrono Cross is right now. Yeah, I think it's with my uh, Final Fantasy VII, uh, nine and all that. Somewhere I wonder where up. mine is. It should be here. I think I might have moved it to the box. Where is it recently? Yeah. I remember I was moving some games to the box, so they didn't get best of you. But yeah, mine is like a green label, and ouch, yeah. I got tangled. And uh... Closet screen, let's go. <laughs> Closet screen. It's... Maybe it's in the box behind me, probably, PlayStation 1 games, but yeah. Uh, I checked the... Because I always check the serial numbers, you know, the S-L-E-S, or for America it's yeah. S-L-U-S. Uh, number and and it, everything fits, so I was like, okay, it's not a forgery. I was close to returning it, but I never seen that one. Like whenever I would look it up online, because it's a U.S. only release in the Western. You, you know, it wasn't released in Europe, so yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, you you were there when I bought it. Actually, it was because of you <laughs> that I got somehow got lucky and bought it for like only thirty bucks. Oh god, it's that butterflies and filling in my, my stomach again. Oh. It could be the poison this guy gave you. <laughs> oh, it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it is a thing. Thanks, man, that sold something. I was wondering why my yeah. cover is a little different. Because yeah, on one of them you have that. Surge like, and Kid and Lynx in the, behind, like, and on the other one you have just Surge swimmed in or something like that. Yeah, I have the, uh, the, yeah, the discs are different too. Um, it's weird. I don't know. Fuck it, I'm gonna see you. Okay, let's dash and slash this guy. I'll be, I'll be, it's right behind me. I'm just gonna check right now. Hold on. Are you looking in your... Are you actually looking at... <laughs> Going back to the closet, kids. There it is. Oh, oh. Look around here You're in right. the background. It actually says there... For people who can read, it actually says there, Greatest Hits, so this one, the green label. Yeah. It's got Surge and Kid and Lynx on it. The Your cam is a little late. Yeah, that one. But uh, the other one doesn't have that green thing going over it. Yeah. Uh, which is also, like, another thing is European disc cases for PlayStation 1. It was a thing back in the 90s for many consoles. The Japanese, the American, and European carts and uh, disc cases were different, but PlayStation One is like I feel like ours, European ones, are kind of backwards. I can't explain it. I would have to show it again. But uh, you have where you expect the manual would be. That's where the disc is, and the manual is where you'd expect, you know. And the disc is where you'd expect the manual. I can't explain it, it's kind of backwards. Every time when I'm opening, I'm like, where the fuck do I... <laughs> How do I do this? So I can never open the disc in my... In my life. But yeah, it was a thing. Just like your SNES cards. 
I never held one in my hand, a US one, I just saw in the pictures. I know like the European and Japanese Super Nintendo Disc or Super Famicom uh, Disc carts are um, identical. I, but yeah. the, the US ones are like all convoluted, they have extra curves and all that. And I read that like the US Super Nintendo was designed differently because the highest number of repairs Nintendo of America had was from spilt um, beverages on the NES. So they learned their lesson and they made the American Super Nintendo as uncomfortable as possible for putting drinks on it to prevent that from happening, you know. <laughs> Which is... I can't imagine, like even on the European of my Super Nintendo, I can't imagine putting a drink on it. Because why would I do that? But I guess it was different times, or different people. <laughs> Did you ever put a drink on your console, John? Uh, I put like a chocolate bar on it. Um, let's just say it wasn't chocolate, like it wasn't solid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, guess I get it's... easily distracted. Because like I have like ADD, so I'll I'll, I'll I'll I forget I do something sometimes, and I put it on I put the chocolate bar on my PS3, um, and while it was on, I was playing Metal Gear Revenge and something while I was streaming, <laughs> or something I can't remember. I think it was while I was streaming, <laughs> I was doing this. <laughs> I turned around, I looked, I was like, oh, my chocolate bar. <laughs> Oh jeez, I hope it didn't drip inside a console. Uh, no, it, it was still like wrapped and everything. I was gonna eat it while I streamed, and then I grabbed it. And it was just mush. Oh god! <laughs> uh, uh, okay, it was just disgusting. There was no real damage. No. That's, that's just put it back option. in the fridge, and it, and it became a solid again. So it was all good. <laughs> Wait, you're playing Metal Gear, you say? So. We turn liquid, yeah. liquid snake into solid snake, huh? <laughs> no, solid snake turned into liquid snake, and, and then back yeah, then it reversed. Yeah. Twin snakes! <laughs> Man, I got that, so... I got that, I got twin snakes from Mikhailo, my friend, uh, like, five, six years ago. And I didn't finish it, I didn't have the time to play, because of work and everything, and I returned it to him. Like after playing the first, the, my last, the last one I played was the first Metal Gear Solid. I couldn't, it's another one of those, hard to find it. <gasps> There's Pip! And um, now I wish I, I did play it. I think Silicon Knights worked on that port, right? Something like that. Because I remember it looked better than S MGS2. Yeah, I can't even remember who, uh, who developed it. Uh, it was. It, I, I I thought it was a good game. Um, I Why wouldn't it be? I mean, well, some I guess. Uh, I mean, some people didn't really. It didn't receive well. With some I guess, but I, I thought it was good. I didn't know that. You yeah, have to play it like fully. I just remember I drooled at the graphics. Like you know, GameCube. GameCube generally had better looking graphics than. Uh, it was, it was the same way with the, yeah, it's the same way with the RE one remake. You know, when they did a remake for MGS one, it's just like, oh, it's like, oh my god, everybody's not blocky. They don't look like you know, fucking, uh, what do they call them? The little things, cardboard cutout things that you put together and make a shape out of. Uh, I think it's like, a cutout, like, like well, like what Barry carries around while and wake. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much that. Yeah, I was just like, hello. <laughs> like, you gotta love how on PS One, like, you know, they really tried, but most of these games, you don't see them opening their mouths. So just like turning their heads, their lips are sealed, just like voice coming out. Especially in in the first three RE games, when they had to use gestures a lot, so everyone's talking like this and doing things with their arms, and it's kind of distracting. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about like. Uh... The Final Fantasy VIII uh, meme, where uh, you're the best the looking ball. guy. Yeah, you're the best looking guy here. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, I, I love that one. Every time I see it, it's just 
<laughs> I crack up every time. It doesn't stop. Because the way they zoomed in on his face, you could see all the... <laughs> Like cause it's so, only 240 pixels tall, the whole image of PS1 games. Well, I, I did show you the one where they actually did the art of what his face looks like in that scene, <laughs> and it looks so nasty. <laughs> oh no, I have to send it to you. Oh, uh, I don't know what you because saying, you know, you know what she's saying. That little guy in the corner looks like Boar from Penguins of Madagascar. I never watched Penguins of Madagascar, but I've seen. A few scenes recently. It looks like something I would like because it looks comedic. I just didn't get around to it. So oh, I, oh, she, oh, she's talking about Pip. Yeah, she's talking about Pip. Oh, I love Pip. You, you know about Pip, yeah? What he, uh, what he's capable of doing? I'm pretty sure you do. But no, I uh, remember I use like I, I when I beat Chrono Cross, I beat it with Surge, Kid, and mm -hmm. I think I had Greco a lot of the time, and then swapped him for someone. But, you know, I was a yeah, dumb kid Greco playing too. RPGs. <laughs> I used Greco before, so you, you're okay. Now, uh, with Pip, uh, you pretty much have absolute control of what he's going to turn into. So right now, he's a white uh, white element type. Um, <gasps> that you can actually get him as. Uh, yes, he morphs. Uh, depending on if you use red. So red, yellow, and black. Uh, he gets more in touch with his devil side which will make him transform. Uh, so if you use more green, blue, and white elements for him, he gets more in touch with his angel transformation. Wait, so like which magic you use with him will affect his appearance and innate color? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh my you, god, you I did not know yeah. that. Like, yeah. So if you just have them use like red elements, black elements, uh, and uh, what, what are the colors? Say black, red, and something else. Um, sorry. Black, red, and what else? Uh, yellow. Like? yellow. Yellow, yeah, I would say. Uh, yeah, the yeah, green, blue, and them. green, blue, and white are positive. Okay. Right. So she even says, I remember, like from the first time I played, but also from this time, that she says it's a. It's a life form that evolves, but I thought it was just like flavor text, you know? I didn't expect it to do something. Oh, it's legitimate. Yeah, he, he literally yeah, he literally transforms. It's cool. I love it. I, that's cool, man. I, I just love how much more cool stuff this game is going to bring me. After already winning me over as my favorite game of all time. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, just like with so many characters you didn't think they would do so much for like each of them like that but they really they really went they went the extra mile with them because usually if you have a game with like 50 plus characters or some crap in there they you know you would think that like get dull but they're so individually appealing I think they are I mean you know and they have so much behind them when it comes to like detail and you know what they do their gameplay yeah yeah i mean i see it's it now special. think about it so you know i love this game on first play i already talked about how you know i didn't play it all these years because like it blew me away i thought it's kind of a sacrilege to to play it again i, I needed a week to recuperate after finishing it and kept thinking about what i just saw and i did start another playthrough you know, but I was like, I gotta wait a few years, and then 10 years pass, but you know, I digress. Basically what I want to say, so I, I loved it as much, even though I I assume I explored maybe 70%. Four irons, wow. And uh, imagine like an average player, like the story is convoluted, there's no two ways about it. It's a complex story that requires you to think and, um, you know, recollect previous events, plus... It really helps if you know the full story of Chrono Trigger and alternate shit that can happen on, in different endings. That really, really helps with this game. But still, you know, what I'm trying to say is for like ever Joe, this is just this was just a mess, I I assume. Nobody expected the video game to do as much. Like what you just said about characters. That's what I expected, you know, when I played, I was like, yeah, it's just gonna have different alignments, who gives a shit? I'm just gonna use beef him up use magic and just want to see the story <laughs> but then i found find these things i didn't know rasley has area of effect 
uh, strongest attack. That's beautiful. Those little nuances. That's what makes it so special. So much complexity for this game. It's it's great. I love it. Oh, I make sure you chase Pip. Yeah. You have to chase him if you want him on your team. <laughs> Why do you keep up watching me? Can't you see I'm hiding? Hmm? You want to know why I'm here? I'm a stowaway. Also, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has short-term memory loss. <laughs> Who has? It's like, oh, you're definitely not the people that let me out of my cage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do you? I still want to know how he got on the ship. Yeah, he did say he wanted to see the sea, so I guess, uh, I guess... He swam. He just did, yeah, he just fucking, <laughs> he willed himself on the only ship on this fucking archipelago. <laughs> I wanted desperately to see the sea. When I woke up, there were monsters all over the place. It really scared me. Anyway, I want to see the world because all my wife have been walked up in a web. Can you broaden my view of the world? Okay, man, sure. Come along. We don't need your company. We don't take kindly to evolve life forms around these parts. Whoa, discrimination. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pip, I like how uh, Serge's uh, portrait actually shows up in this decision. Yeah, I like that too. I like Serge for... Uh, thanks, love. For... Um, yeah. For a silent protagonist, he's very likable. It's just something about his design and demeanor. Alright, Pete. Look at all these characters. I think I have more characters now than when I first finished the game, possibly. Well, if you want to compare someone to, like, uh, like if you compare him to, like, Chrono, or, like, you, you know, him, him, and, or, like, in Surge. Like, I think Surge has a little more life to him as a silent protagonist. Yeah, well, Chrono didn't get to shine on the Super Nintendo much. Yeah. It's just like, the most we get from Dude, Chrono is, just there. yeah, or just a nod. But I like his yeah. yes pose. Well, he was definitely, like, he, he showed a lot more expression. But, like, as far as, like, decisions that really had to be made wasn't really, you know... I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think. I guess express as well. I don't. No, I agree. He, he did some. Yeah. The difference is in Chrono Trigger, the game asks the player to choose, but Chrono Cross yeah. asks Surge to choose. You're still the instrument yeah. of you know choosing, but yeah. Uh, yeah. it's just how the game frames the question. That was two different time times, but two different they're both teams. equally fucking great. Yeah. Gotta love that. Sasha brought me a lemonade and then redeemed a hydrate. <laughs> Thanks, love. <laughs> can I can I have a lemonade, please? You gotta Pretty crawl please. under that bed. Uh, uh, out under that bed, man. Uh, I'm like I'm like the, the the monster thing from Little Monsters. I think that's the movie. I'm under your bed. I'm just gonna pop out. Yeah, Pip joined Yubika. Yep, he did join. That's the little guy we uh, we uh, freed from the lab in Viper Mansion, if you remember. He was held by that German accent scientist lady. Well, the one you wanted me to play as. What's his face? Uh, Lu Lucha or Lucia or whatever. I I'll call her Lucha. I just I'm just used to calling her Lucha. It's okay. Corcha Lucha. They're next to each other for a reason. There's Pip. But he wanted to see the sea. Well, wh when we freed him from a cage, she said, Do not free that little guy. It's a very special life form. It's gonna evolve. I'm doing experiments and shit on it. Leave it alone. And as soon as she turned her back, we freed him. Because <laughs> we're rascals like that. And uh, it said, Well, we didn't free him right away. He was just like, Can you please unlock the cage? I'll escape later. And we just unlocked it. Like, click, click, click. And then the next time we were there, he was gone. But he did mention that he wanted to see the sea and the world. So I guess that's why we see him on the only fucking ship that's sailing the El Nido Archipelago. Oh, I remember this. The deck party. Aye, just in time, mateys. Look what, out! What party? 
the deck party. Oh, oh, my bad. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm so bad. Like, if it weren't for the lag, I would have asked you before streams that we, like, voice different characters. Like a little show. But because of the uh, lag, I mean, this is gonna be impractical. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I, I have to physically watch on Twitch. Unless yeah. you did, like, two streams at once. Once, I think the only way I could see it if you were doing a, a stream on Discord at the same time. But that's that's so much CPU usage, it'd be a nightmare. For the laptop, yeah, it wouldn't work, even on yeah. 30. Oh, yeah. But, like, on the yeah. desktop, I'm, when I have free time, I'll play around with it. I actually don't stream from the desktop. Uh, but it's not impossible. I just don't because everything's set up on the laptop. <laughs> Ah, uh, you don't have to worry about going that extra mile. This is fun. I love it. You know, I like to challenge myself technologically. Why are you scurvy curs? It's Fargo. <laughs> yeah. Arr, you call yourself sea dogs? Show some spirit. Huh? I like how they go, huh? Captain, look nice out! Captain! Captain. Captain. Oh. Captain him. Damn, mateys, go help the captain! Are ye sea dogs? Wait, we're just leaving these guys here, like as the captain. Doesn't the captain go down with the ship? Get your stinking ghostly hands off me! You punch the fucking ghosts into oblivion. I'll, I want this guy in my party. Arr, looks like we got a big one coming. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say anything. Damn, me arm! So when the text is like shaded like that, that's his internal monologue. Your name's Serge, eh? Go take the wheel. Hey, I'm no Jesus, man. Aye, aye, Captain. But I've never done it before. What happens if I go, but I've never done it before? <laughs> He'd probably just tell you there's a first time for anything. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> I'm counting Wait. on ya. I'm a virgin when it comes to grabbing wheels. <laughs> Keep your heads high, mateys. Don't forget we be pirates aboard the SS Invincible. Wait, isn't this Zelbus? Oh, I... I rode about the wrong ship. I mixed the ships up. This is the Invincible. So there are two ships in this game. I'm sorry. Why did yeah, I think... Yeah, the parallel worlds are named differently. Sorry, it's what? based upon, like, uh, Fargo. Like, uh, in the different parallel... Uh, uh, dimensions. Oh, right, right, it is Zelbus, so he does have Zelbus in the whole world. In this world, he's got Invincible because of his wife, that's right. Mm -hmm. I remember now. Yep, there you go. Man your stations, it's time to show these monsters what we're made of. Flash and bone. Aye, aye, Captain! Serge, keep your head high, they're coming. Oh yeah, boss battle music. Do 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 do. Oh, there we go. They're transforming into a mecha zord. Fuck your ugly guy. Oh, uh, we can do that. Okay, everybody, climb Serge's shoulders. It's called a dead head. And a one. And a two. And a three. I mean, never stop. One, two, three always. I think that's the best tactic. Let's start whiting this up. So, first, I'm gonna go with a photon ray, though. The weak kill them all. I'm just gonna start putting more whites on the table. So, I, when I do a dash and slash, it, it's working. Oh, diminish? He's gonna weaken us, right? Element damage halved temporarily. I got a counter for that bitch, as soon as I steal from you. Well, no, I'm gonna do it this time. Magnify. Temporarily multiplies element damage by 1.5. Oh, well, it's a waste at this point, so let's go for it. Yoink. What do we get? Gravity blow. <laughs> That's odor. We're gonna get poisoned or something, are we? Blinded. No? 
Oh. Hey, I got a question. Did you take uh, Razzly uh, to fight the Hydra? Mm, no. Wait, wait. Okay. I did the thing that's needed to see her sister to get, uh, you know what I mean. Oh, okay. I, uh, yeah. I think it's like, yeah. don't fight uh, Hydra with her. Because if you do fight Hydra yeah. with her, yeah. So she didn't get yeah, to speak to the chief then yet. Very cool. I like how in the background he's planning my upcoming moves. <laughs> oh, we need something white here. Let's do a photon ray because surge is next. So we gotta push those black fields outside. Field effect. Dark red. Wait, when she has a black status effect, what is that? Blindness? Yeah, it's blindness. Oh. Does does it affect her physical attack? Oh, she's she's attacking? Yes. Yeah, physical attacks, but not elemental level. I mean, specifically well, for Razzly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, specifically then bravo, for Razzly. That was pretty cool, considering like she was blind, she hit every time. Yeah, it just it's, lowers your accuracy, uh, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's what it's supposed to do, if I recall correctly. I like that. You can actually see the effect, like in the map. I forgot what, um... I'm trying to remember what the white element one does. I can't remember. Huh, I see, there's a... a... So, greenish poison, yellow is springs. Yeah, blue is like frozen or, uh, what was it? Some kind of flu. That's what it was. Yeah, blue is flu. And red is burns. Yeah, that makes sense as well. I just can't remember what white element was. For the status effect. Nah, I'm sure I'll remember when it would kick in randomly. Something like that. Oh, you did you steal from it, right? Yeah. I got oh, a... Hell yeah. Did you what get did it off of him? What did I get? I already forgot. Uh, something that didn't blow me away. Definitely. Rest didn't blow you away at all. What did I get when I stole from it this time? It may have been probably, probably got like gravity blow or something off of him. I got something blow, gravity blow, yeah, that's right, because I was kidding, okay. I was joking. Yeah, I think I'll another one you can get is like Hellbound. Hellbound or gravity, gravity blow. I think this is as far as I got when I was doing the uh, speedrun uh, test, when I was practicing the speedruns for this, for the uh, for Dragonia uh, speedruns. Well, last year when you played? Yeah, yeah. When I was doing the speedrun tests and stuff, just trying it out. It's very technical. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, maybe I'll just speedrun Resident Evil 2 and I excelled in that, so. Oh god, I survived with 12. I, I wanted to heal Kid, but it, it, it turned out good in the end. That's okay. She's like, oh, my intestines. Yeah, that did it right there. Bam. <laughs> Easy. All right, we got a growth level. That was an actual boss. Oh. Yeah. And we got a hell soul. Looks like the sea's back to normal. You said you were heading to Fort Dragonia to go after Viper and his men. Arr. Let me give you some advice. Mount Pyre is a fiery hell. Without any protection against fire, you will lose strength fast, mateys. I suggest you go see the Water Dragon for his divine protection first. Although I haven't heard much about him recently, I wonder if that dragons are still alive. Actually, I haven't heard much about the other dragons either. And those monsters we just beat? What's going on nowadays? Dot dot dot. I tell you, even the sea seems to have changed its nature. He doesn't have much. He doesn't have a strong fire accent. 
It's probably because we human folks have come around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't need this mushy talk from a pirate. In the name of David Jones, what have we done? <laughs> Thanks, kid. It's not the mushy talk, it's just, yeah, you said it twice, we fucked the planet up. But that's the SS Invincible, that's right. Can we come aboard and unlock the other doors now, John? Uh, I don't think so. I think they're still going to be locked. Can we ever unlock them, or only when we get far I don't, Yeah, I don't think so. I think they're, like, permanently locked, because, I mean, here, uh, yeah, I think, I think they are. They should be. Should be, like, no, uh, way of opening them. I mean, you can check if you're curious. Uh, yeah, I, I never do. But, um, as far as I know, there's nothing else to really obtain from the ship after you do this section. And they should, there's really no reason to go there, but you can check it out. Just go ahead and do it. Curiosity. Let's, uh, hi, uh, let's How goes it? Well, I wonder if he'll still poison you with this drink. <laughs> <laughs> Douche. <laughs> oh, they fixed the fire. Nice. Good to see. We were there. We were. Were we here? Oh yeah, that's the one with the vent. I can't believe they put me in charge of the kitchen just because I lost the poker game. Arr, they know I ain't no cook, so they should stop griping. Hmm, griping and piping. Yeah, I remember this bit being a lot longer when I was a kid. Oh, there we go, it's open. It's a bedroom. <laughs> So the rooms are unlocked? Well, the first of them was, yeah. There's a bed, there's no, a okay. three people bedroom, which mean, should mean I should be able to rest here. Looks like straight out of Chrono Trigger. But they oh, can't yeah. do anything. You know what's funny? I don't remember seeing this room ever. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think I ever really explored the ship after I beat it. I was just like, oh, there, I don't, there's never anything to really get in there. So I was just like, oh, goodbye, ship. And <laughs> just moved on with my life. Pretty much well, I what love I did. this shared experience then. Uh, there's the yeah, dresser. I've been, hey, uh, I've been here. Check out that dresser. Yeah, that's. Okay. I'm trying to push around it, but. He doesn't react to his. It's a mirror, Surge. I guess it's like technological marvel in your world. You know? It's like, oh my god, I can see myself. Where's the other Surge? He goes like behind. Where, where did you hide the other Surge? <laughs> no, there's nothing there. It looks different, but it's just a dresser. This is the captain's room, okay? Yeah, I think and this is more uh, more significant in on Zelbus than on Invincible in, in Homeworld. But it's still it's still significant in a way if you think about it. it is, there's a little more thought you could put behind it, you know. But you know, you could save it for a later time when you get there to that point. What do you mean? With the dresser or with the um, with the dresser thing? Yeah. Um, well, I. Well, yeah, I can't. I can't really talk about it because if I talk about it, then I'll just be spoiling stuff. Oh, that that's what section. you mean. This dress, dresser specifically yeah. on Zelda's, but yeah. not invincible. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you think about it, it it, it does reflect on both sides of like uh, like I said, Fargo's personality and the way he is in this version compared to his other self. Okay, you know? I get you. I get you. Yeah, nice catch. Yeah. Nice catch. That's right. Yeah, that's I, right. I, yeah, it, there's a lot meaning, a lot more meaning to some things uh, compared to the other world. It's just the matter of you know putting putting them together. So it's up to the player when it comes to that. Well, we do know which world, which dimension would be the which you know would be the real one. Yeah, I mean, you and I know. So uh, it kind of makes sense if you think about it. <laughs> So the dimensions split at the moment of Surge's accident, right? Like 10, 10 yeah. 20? Uh, yeah, that's no. Yeah, that's when um, that's when the uh, well, like it 
it's it did exist regardless. However, the moment of his death caused a wormhole. No, it didn't exist. If that then. makes sense. It didn't, well, like it literally split off. Well, theoretically, it split off when he did die. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, the, all the all the possibilities exist theoretically. We were yeah. getting into quantum physics yeah. now. But yeah. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Now we're getting so into quantum physics. physics. Yeah. But like. <laughs> yeah. The in possibilities. Terms of, yeah. <laughs> in terms of this game, it was just that event caused that uh, other that, timeline to materialize yeah, that, to actually yeah. start existing yeah. more than just a thought experiment. Which is yeah, it was like physically interactable. Yeah, because a death happened or surge, and being able to go to that new developed parallel universe or parallel world. I like how Pip's just chilling on the ship still. Yeah, <laughs> he's still there. Take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the world. I think they opened all the doors now. I want to be a Pokemon. I want to evolve. <laughs> I think I named P uh, Pip. I named him Pikachu. Oh, that's that totally right. possible. Let's see if I get poisoned. Oh, we got a Ray Chopper. Wesky. Hello, sexy Wesky. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome. Welcome to Chrono Cross. One game, two hosts. Say hi, John. So what's up, everybody? It's your boy. <laughs> well, John, aka Senpai Trash TV, in case those of you that don't know who I am. <laughs> yeah, it's Senpai. See, that was one advantage of your John RPG nerd. I could just say John, and everyone know I gotta go to John, aka Senpai. What's up, Wesky? You've been playing Outbreak File 2. Nice. How did the game treat you? Simon, hello Simon. I always, whenever I see Simon C64, I immediately think of Commodore 64 because that was the, that was the abbreviation for Commodore 64. When you're getting a Commodore 64 game, you're like, ah, that's C64 title. Like years you know, before. Every time I see Simon, I think of uh, Simon Belmont. So I see we're on two different wavelengths with that. <laughs> Why not Simon Belmont on Commodore 64? It was there wasn't a Castlevania game on the Commodore, was there? I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, you I don't beat Nick. Revenge match in End of the Road. Nice. I hope this time you weren't alone there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know, cause like I never, I have a Commodore 64. I got it in like 2006. I don't have a tape deck, so it's kind of useless. Or a floppy drive. I just have the fucking computer keyboard console. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure and, it was probably just like a Nintendo exclusive type of thing at the time. It was on some Japanese, I think it was on MSX, because Konami, Konami worked just like Metal Gear. Uh, yeah, yeah. They worked for MSX as well. I didn't, I because Commodore 64 was more of a thing in Europe, because like when NES reigned supreme, like Famicom in Japan, NES in US, we didn't have a console video game market crash here that was just a thing in america so like commodore 64 uh, zx spectrum uh what else was there uh, amstrad cpc that was my first computer by the way amstrad cpc they they were just like the shit here nintendo was very undersold until like 1990 1991 maybe and then really the super nintendo kicked off the nintendo revolution here a hippie and, never had blast processing. You guys heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, the I, we did because that's like Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis, as you know it in America. Because the name yeah. Mega Drive was already taken, I think, in the U.S. And so it was yep. like Mega Drive in Japan yeah, and Japan. yeah, yeah, and in America they were like, yeah, let's just fucking call it Genesis, something biblical. <laughs> and uh, it was like Mega Drive was bigger oh, here than Nintendo. Like Sega was Sega and home computers were the shit. Nintendo was... Mm, way fewer people had it, which is why I got my first NES in like 2006 as well. 2006 was a big game for my consoles. I got Super Nintendo, then NES, then Commodore 64, like all in one year, like 2005-2006 period. And uh, 
up until that point, like, we had the Mega Drive and we jumped straight from the Mega Drive to the PlayStation. And being, like, Serbia in the 90s, torn by war and everything, I didn't see an original game until I bought my first one, really. Like, all the games were burnt, and I used to think, like, some guys somewhere make a game, they burn it under this, they give it to people to, you know, they burn it on, and, you know, that's how the game spread. And then, for the first time ever, I saw, like, a game in a box with an art, you know, like, everything. I was like, oh, they make these? <laughs> but, yes. Yeah. Like, the more you like, know now. I never yeah. even knew that. That's interesting. I like that. I like <laughs> that you shared that with me. I, I would have never known that's how things were. Yeah, yeah, it was, like... I think it was like 2004 or 5 when I first saw an original like game oh, back then. That's interesting. Yeah, that it, it was different with carts because you can't pirate carts, so you know, I didn't think about yeah. it much as a uh, as a. Uh, well, it's different compared like a floppy to a CD, you know, a cart. Yeah, a cartridge yeah. was just a whole different ball game. Yeah, correct. And uh, just my first salary ever, <laughs> 2008. I. Uh, with my first money, I bought um, NVIDIA GeForce 7000 So before you were naked and famous? Yeah, before that. <laughs> <laughs> that was using my money to become naked and famous. I got that and I got Quake 4. Because I loved Quake 2 on the PlayStation 1. I loved that game. Still didn't stream it, we will. And then, because of all the Quakes, Quake 2 and 4 are the only ones that are connected. They're called the Strog Saga. Quake 1 has its own Lovecraftian story. Quake 3 is like Super Smash Brothers, id Software style. But Quake 2 and 4, they have these aliens that come to, you know, reap Earth. They take the parts of everything they killed and build more of themselves. Like the Borg, they were inspired by the Borg. They're called the Strog, for fuck's sake. But anyway, yeah, I got that game. I really wanted to play it. It was the first legit original this game I ever got. It was a big day. What do you mean? 2006? I don't know if you remember, sis. I got Super Nintendo because when mom bought, bought us the first Windows PC, that was like 2005, she said, I'm going to buy you a console so you don't bog the, the PC with your games. And I was like, sure, yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> and then that there was that guy from Austria who sell, sold like secondhand goods. She bought it like dirt cheap the console and then like three games turtles in time jungle book and i forgot what else was there yeah super mario all stars and then for the rest it was just like i was doing my um, schoolmates tests <laughs> i was doing their math tests and uh, like engineering electronics tests uh, in exchange for games. So that's how I built my NES collection, actually. 80% of my NES games was me doing uh, tests for this one guy in school who had a aunt in Germany who bought him like a box full of NES games and he just traded them. He paid his grades to me <laughs> via NES games. I'll never forget the day I got... Because he would bring this box to school and like pick one. And I would pick it. I was sad already there was no Zelda in there. I really wanted Zelda 1 and 2 back then. But um, I got all three Marios and some other games. And I saw Dragon's Lair. And I was like, this looks like Zelda. This is going to be a good game. Fuck Christmas 2006, I think it was. Man, I spent whole day trying to play. Have you ever played Dragon's Lair on the NES, uh, John? Yeah, actually, uh... I did play it, and uh, that game pissed me off. <laughs> such unfair game, man! Such, such that game was bullshit. so fucking evil. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't even make it past the first screen half the time. And from what I heard, the arcade version of that was uh, was a quarter stealer, straight up. Yeah, but it was different. The arcade version was a laser disc game. Yeah, was one of the yeah. first FMV games ever. It's but the same way. It was the same way with uh, was it Ghouls and Ghosts or Ghosts? Ghosts and Ghosts. Ghosts and Ghosts. Yeah, Ghosts and, yeah. Yeah, Ghost and Go yeah. I, I get them both mixed up all the time. But yeah, the uh, the uh, the Firebrand at the beginning was the fucking absolute evil on that. Yeah. <laughs> No, sis, no. She didn't use the computer back then. Remember, she started using computer 2007 on my behalf. We all regretted that, yes, because our mom is now, like, computer addict <laughs> at her 70-something years old. But uh, back then she bought it because she was like, okay, it's 2005, we should really have a fucking modern computer. We just had the Amstrad 
the basic one like it's literally basic programming language is what it used so none of you used it only i used it because you actually had no programming to use that computer but then she was like i think when we sold uh the house uh her her like childhood home uh there was a laptop that was sold very cheaply and she got it but remember she we i couldn't use it that's why she gave that's why she was like i'm gonna buy you a console you pick one and i was like that guy has a super nintendo it was like cheap like 10 bucks back in the day and she was like sure i'll get you that we just ever don't ever install games on the computer i think that lasted for like a week maybe two weeks because as soon as i finished zelda link to the past the first game i ever played on super nintendo i was like yeah it's time for me to install some games on this computer <laughs> before that so yeah i can see you forgot it. But before you you did you weren't even interested in using a computer back then you just used the cd player you were like why would i do that when i can just play a cd uh, or uh, like audio tapes music cassettes in a cassette phone as we call it like the the tape player <laughs> both you and anna were like the computers are a totally matthias thing we don't want anything to do with it and then it was lazar our childhood friend who would show you the magic of winamp and like next week I'm coming home, I'm like, I see I'm never getting on that computer again. <laughs> oh wait, Wesky said something there. <clears throat> How about me? Sorry, Wesky. Like we got lost in talk here. <clears throat> it's going well, as you can see. I'm co-hosting with John here. We're more talking than playing, but that makes it better somehow. Socializing. Yes, right I now. exist. <laughs> I'm here. I'm alive. I'm ready to party with my shirt off. What? It sounds like I'm. It sounds like I'm silencing him. Uh, um, silence, uh, Mr. John. You know, I'm just clearing my throat. <laughs> oh yeah. Why does Razley only get poisoned? Like this is the second time she got poisoned. I don't know. I think it's randomized what happens or who gets it, but I think Razzly's just it's because she's a fairy, I guess. She's not she's not like battle hardened. I don't know. I'm gonna wait, try no, uh, wait. Yep, yeah, yeah, she's poison. Status of normality is removed. Oh well. Okay, so it's very random as you said. Huh. Maybe maybe Razzly's just completely unlucky. Maybe she's just weak. She didn't. She's not used to, you know, breathing in smog and it's uh, like eating processed meat and whatnot. So she's like, <laughs> she gets very sick from this. Like Serge and Kid, they're yeah. they live in the human yeah. world. They're yeah, just squid, uh, squid gut pasta at all. You're <laughs> in Timur, Terminal. That really sounds tasty somehow. I never. I I ate clams. I never. Actually, yeah, I I did eat squid. It was very tasty as well. But uh, squid gut pasta, I just sounds <laughs> somehow it still sounds appetizing. Maybe because I tried squid and I liked it. Who knows? I tried some squid and I liked it. Oh no, I can't eat. I can't eat squid or like octopus. They, 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 those animals just freak me out. I can't even eat them. That's just one Fishy. one living animal that, you know, I would never put in my mouth. <laughs> they, so sound, they sound they sound disgusting, but so for me personally, I told you this already. I, two things I can't I cannot eat without you know I cannot eat. I just can't. I get sick and throw up. They're beets and. Uh, and fish too. I can eat fish, many kinds of fish. It's not my favorite thing, but I can eat it. Some fish I like more than other. I love seafood. Oh, yeah, but fish too. Except for octopus. Nah. But then squid, and like it was, yeah, squid I ate. And Sasha even took me for like a deep fried squid. Super tasty. Unbelievably tasty. It doesn't taste like seafood at all. Shoot in the breeze, eh, mateys? Stay as long as you like. Shoot in the All breeze. Right. You know, you know, there's uh, people that ate, you know, like the, 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 was it the squid or the, yeah, the squids that aren't technically like, uh, or octopus, uh, that aren't cooked and they're still like moving, right? Oh yeah, I know about that, yeah. Yeah, where they that. like puncture your gums and it'll 
end up making a baby of them, like growing your gum. Yeah, and also like yeah, yeah the, the the suction cups can damage your like intestines and all that. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just like mm -mm, no, no, thank you. I'm done. <laughs> We're just about to leave. Well then, take care. You gotta get kicked out of here. No, we're talking about two different time periods, sis. I'm talking about 2005, before... 4, even. Before we even moved to Nasiri Guy. The, the, the old days. Like, when you worked um, in the bar and all that, that was already... Pff, that's new era. See you guess who's got a thing? Guess who's got a sink? Cause great gamut order it. <laughs> Hello, Gabby Whammy. What you got in your fanny? It's not a full mm -hmm. rhyme, but you gotta roll with it. <laughs> hey, Gabby Whammy. What's up, Gamut? Welcome, buddy. Hope you're doing good. How's work treating you today? Trying to pull a Jack Black. That Order. doesn't sound like Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds more like what's his face, Metallica guy. Like yeah. <laughs> <Or something. laughs> Just sing like something from the Pick of Destiny. There you go. Yep. Nah, nah, are sis. You, we got the, with the first laptop. Well, I can't sing that. Sorry, Gamma. Just this. We got. So we moved to to Nasir Guy in mm, about before May first, two thousand five. I'm talking about early two thousand four, late uh, er, like late two thousand four, early two thousand five era. The laptop was bought before, while we were still in Shorinats. I remember that because I had to maintain it. <laughs> the first ever music played on a Windows PC happened there yeah before he was naked and famous by yeah, the way i just that. thought i would emphasize that, you know before he was an album cover <laughs> <laughs> john are we going to the water dragon isle now i think so Ed, you need to go to home world by the way but not in this world he's dead here isn't he dead and gone No, sis, the first computer we ever had before the desktop. So, we mom bought a laptop that she still says because I traded it for a desktop on her dying breath, she will ask for that laptop. <laughs> she still jokes with that. So, I traded that laptop in 2006 for a desktop uh, at Kacha's. Yeah. And uh, Kacha had two desktops. Well, well, her, she and her brother. And, uh, I traded the laptop for one of those desktops. Yeah, that was like 2006 already. So we had a laptop for about two years. That's okay. All right, here we go. Good to see you, Gamut. We're going to the Water Dragon Isle. Even though it's on another world, I'm gonna check this one out. Cause I wanna see. If there's anything else left for me... John, is it time? Or should I approach DM? Where are you in Homeworld? No, I'm in another world, but there are fairies around and I have Resley in the party. No, you gotta go to Homeworld. What about these the fairies over here? Those fairies are useless. How but there is an item there. There's Rosetta. Have you come to this island seeking the Dragon God? If so, please <laughs> turn back now. Due to the oh, abnormal okay. weather conditions, the fountain has <laughs> run completely dry. This island, once called the Island of Springs, is desolate, as you now see. And then the other fairy <laughs> says, Although we can fly, we fairies aren't fairly uh -huh. strong, so we can't fly too far. It's a different story if we can catch the wind, but the wind is capricious, just like we are. Is that Did that fairy, like, inhale, like, sawdust or something? <laughs> 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 it's 
is the fairy that holds its mouth open in the wind all day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the one. <laughs> Why do you never close your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> you can see the dust being blown around. That's why she's got a voice like that. <laughs> you know, like oh. the uh, like the ugly half sister from Shrek. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> oh! <laughs> God, I love it. Fucking beautiful. Here's another fairy. We fairies are born from the morning dewdrops on an aged tree. The large tree that stands in the center is like our fairy godmother. Okay. That sounds like the fairy grandmother. <laughs> sounds like fairy Master Roshi. <laughs> you guys sound like Dr. Evil and <laughs> Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> One million Chrono Cross dollars. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna melt this later. That's why you said the other world. The mist of the sea is an invasion to the dark. <laughs> Embracing the abyssal darkness where we where the lost souls gather. Oh, that's gonna be important later. They come seeking the warm and radiant glow of life. A victim to share their sufferings. Be careful. Be careful. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? A small star fell into the sea of the triplet, triplet isles, but that was a long time ago. Hear ye, hear ye. Listen, listen, listen. Oh my god, it's Navi the fairy. The bottom of the sea glowed. It's an old story. From a time when storms raged and the heaven and earth trembled. That was Navi the fairy. Her origin is in here. Listen, listen. Do you get PTSD? Wait, you didn't play much Zelda, did you? No, I mean, I played bits and pieces of, like, all of them. Uh, I only beat Seasons. I think that was the only Legend of Zelda I ever beat. Good game. Really good game. Seasons is just fucking awesome. I enjoyed that game thoroughly for some yeah. reason. I don't know why I like that one so much, but I did for some reason. It's amazing, uh, really. One of the best Game of Color games. Oracle Seasons and Ages. I guess that's it on this screen. Nothing else left. Why doesn't Goodbye. Rosetta recognize Razzly, though? Um, because she's from home. She's from Homeworld. I don't. Actually, can I move them? Like, why? No, I know there's a button you can press to change their. Uh, select. Select. Yeah, there we go. Let's talk as Razzly. She might still have the same kind of dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if Razzly even. It, well, does she does she technically exist in this world? Yeah, because the because the the forest the the marshes are dried. You're right. She could not even be a thing. Maybe she died a long yeah, time ago. She's, maybe... Well, yeah. Well, she's from like Homeworld. I know that yeah. much for sure. But I, I I never know. I never. I mean, she doesn't show up in this world at all. Like you don't see like a uh, her, her double. Yeah, her double. So I don't even think she she's like alive or even exists in uh, in the another world. Yeah, possible. Maybe I mean it could be developers just didn't get to do put her in, but because uh, it's really amazing sure what they did with this game. It. There's something to it, but it probably is just probably one of those plot holes you probably never know. You just have to guess uh, why she doesn't have a double. A lot of characters have doubles. Hell, I don't even think Greco has a double. Does he? I think I'm not sure. Now I don't think he. I don't think no, he, he has one in Homeworld because we'll, it's like an old lady or something that's there for the shrine. We'll check. That's a that's a thing to check. Yeah. Um. Can I get I'm go under the waves now? Because uh, I know oh, there's no. something here. Yeah, that's later. Yeah, I think it's um, it's uh, it's in it's in Homeworld. It's Again, for the yeah. uh. Star fragment has to be in the in the in the water for you to breathe. No, please don't. Sasha says his power is acting up. I can't see it because these are, I think, LED uh -oh. spotlights. But uh, so they don't. We might we might get cut out early. Yeah, like last night. Well, I'll save every few moments. If we do get cut out, we'll just resume next session. 
Exactly. Yeah, that sounds good. Is there anything else to do here? Something to collect, maybe Isle of the Dam before we go to the home world? Uh, to answer your question, Gamut, uh, it is not required to play Chrono Trigger first. However, I highly recommend doing it if you want to get light behind all the lore and stuff. You know, you really want to dig deep with it. Uh, but um, it's not it's not required to play this um, or play Chrono Trigger before this. But it really does help. It really does. It helps or not. a lot. Yeah. I mean, it yeah, has, like it has a lot of pertinent information for this. That's the, one of the things with this game when it came out. A lot of people, uh, including uh, Chrono Trigger fans, didn't see it as a sequel because, well, it's a complex story. <laughs> it's because of the way it presents itself, you would think it's not a sequel. But in my opinion, it's one of the best sequels ever. So I would. For that reason, I would advise playing Trigger first. But you can also do it backwards. You can play this, then Trigger. Yeah. It'll still make sense because, tri well, Trigger You'll is. You'll be like, oh! <laughs> yeah, you would get that aha moment a lot. I mean, when Trigger was yeah. like about different time eras, you can travel, what was it, like five different time eras uh, you can visit and you can travel between them. In this game, you have two parallel dimensions. And it seems like it's way off. But it, by the end of the game, everything falls into place, which is one of the geniuses um, of this game, right, John? It all make yeah, it, it all makes sense. Like putting them two together, it, it really uh, it, it'll give you a better perspective of uh, like the bigger picture, if that makes sense. So I, I highly recommend playing both. I I I I think it's required to be honest. I mean, personally, I think it's required because. If you were to play one singular game and you know it's just you know you wouldn't really get the whole thing the whole uh the whole shebang so to speak so yeah i would i'd, I'd definitely play both of them gamut definitely recommend it same and plus you get to listen to the awesome soundtracks from both games because that's what really Really gets me going with this, uh, with these games, with both Chrono Cross and Trigger. There's a, like, both games have phenomenal soundtracks, but I would always say Cross wins. Not just, you know, there's a lot in the technical stuff, because it was easier, it, it was easier to make this wonderful soundtrack on the PS1 than on, uh, on the... Yeah, because the formats, they had to use yeah. for, uh, to, yeah, for the two things, so yeah. Yeah, but it's it's there's also a lot of MIDI here, but it's higher quality MIDI. But uh, it's also the music. So in, in between the games, yes, Nori Mitsuda was actually listening to a lot of Russian folk, believe it or not, and that inspired him to create this soundtrack. Well, the Radical Dreamer soundtrack, which then translates to this soundtrack. There's a third game, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, nice. third game, uh, Radical Dreamers, it's technically a, a like a what if, but like a building blocks to what this game became. So it's, that's pretty much the way I see it. Can it's I like even... the start of Chrono Cross in a way. We still can't. Are we trying to figure out? Yeah, we still can't go, get to. Uh, yeah, you have to. Yeah, you have to. Uh, uh, that's like later. They won't let you pass at all. A lot of a um, lot of stuff happens near the end of the game. I remember that much. Yeah, the second disc is when things start really going going up, like when it really starts hitting. When what's the disc disc swap? Because uh, we were not gonna swap oh. discs here. It's Xbox One. But uh, what? For for Dragonia. After you finish that, after that's it. when the this after happens. the thing happens, right? Yeah, yeah. See, I remember that being close to the beginning of the game, but I know we're like almost. We're I think we did half of the story already, right? Um, I mean, technically, because the latter part of the story is very condensed. There's a lot in it. I would say, I would say, by the time you get you do Fort Dragonia, I think it's about like a quarter, maybe a little more. Seriously. Yeah, because I think uh, 
there's more content that's on the second disc yeah, than there yeah. is the first disc. Yeah, okay. If you think about it. Then we thought the same thing. So he said Water Dragon Isle. We can't get to Water Dragon Isle in this. Someone yeah, would you tell can. us that, right? Yeah, you go to Arnie Village. No, I mean, in another world, like, if, oh. if I, because I would get there to Water Dragon Isle, and then I would be like, holy shit, I can't get in, what now? There's, I know their character would be like, well, I think it, it just use Are your you brain. saying if you didn't know? Yeah, I mean, you would just use your brain and go to, another, to the other dimension and try there, right? Yeah, yeah, and then you would realize you're blocked off, and then you're going to be stuck, and not really going to know where you're going, because they don't really, at this point, this is a... A point to where people would probably get confused as to where they need to go but you know usually you'll just like put it together and be like wait a minute maybe i gotta go to home world but then you're not gonna find a boat and if you put it together you'll be like wait a minute there's a fisherman in arnie that i could talk to that can <laughs> but you never know like you can actually use this boat to go there uh, you know? it's like in uh, metal gear solid one you know when he's like uh... <laughs> i think eager raptor did it said it the best when he's like <laughs> You gotta, you gotta look. Uh, you remember when uh, Meryl totally wiggled her ass in your face? Ah, uh, yeah, I remember. Wait, that was important. I didn't know. I was just looking at her ass. <laughs> I was just looking at her ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fun. Uh, fun like fact: that. Did you notice the difference with this uh, fisherman compared to another world? No. What? The boat? In a, in another world, the uh, well, yeah, um, the uh, fisherman is wearing a black hat. Oh, I didn't notice that. Nice. Yeah, I didn't notice those little that, so. There's a Fun there's fact. a lot of those details around um, around the especially the villages, like in the pre-rendered stuff. You can see a, like a tiny thing off, like a lantern is positioned differently, stuff like that. They didn't have to do that shit, but they did it, <laughs> and I love that. Yeah, that's what I think is funny. It's like you know, like we were talking about earlier about parallel you know time like you know parallel dimensions compared to our our own you know our parallel universes uh like the minor details would be different in said place you know compared to our own so it's kind of they did a little play with that you know yeah, yeah. i'm glad they did that it's, it's great it's fucking great <laughs> it is like the fisherman's hat that's a good example yeah, I mean, they show you early on with the guy, uh, with the guy who in the other world didn't become a fisherman, but what was it, something else? Uh, he, yeah, instead like of being religious. a fisherman, he was like a weird uh, voodoo guy that believed yeah. in voodoo stuff instead. Yeah, <laughs> That's weird. But uh, it's it's like the get, you gotta go through that part, kinda. It's hard to miss it at least, and that's where the game. I think they did that for the game to show you like how this works what you can expect and if you poke around a lot like if you're not if you if you don't rush with the story like some people did when they were young uh you can see a lot of that in the game in a lot of places i remember marble or marble it was one yeah. one place where it really comes into play save and play the electricity that sounds like a good uh that sounds like a good um tagline save and play electricity <laughs> all right let's see what this guy like for, for an electric company yeah <laughs> uh this is an old guy right oh it's you sir it's a great day huh how's your day been what's that what was that you want me to take you to water dragon isle well it's not too far so i'm willing to take you there for 100 g forget about it yeah thank me okay Take me, old man. I'm gonna be old Brooklyn up on his ass. Yo, man. I need this 100G to go buy some cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Local 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does Gam Gamuchio, uh, is he gonna be uh, playing uh, Chrono, Chrono Trigger? Yeah, he said he didn't want to... Uh, he, he also needs to play the Legacy of Kane games. That's why we didn't see much of him uh, when I see him. Yeah. And it's it's good. I totally support it. I wouldn't want to spoil Legacy of Kane or Chrono games to anyone. I need to go buy my chewing tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me that 100 that hundred gold, Serge. 
And he go buy me a big gulp from 7-Eleven. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, it's been a while since I visited this island, but its beauty never fades, except in the other world. But there's something strange. <laughs> I don't see any of the fairies that usually dance around the pond. The oh, other world looked like... There's a small village of fairies on this island. <laughs> it should be just beyond this pond. I don't know what brings you here, but it's best to ask the fairies if you want to learn more about the place. In the meantime, I'll be around here fishing. This pond is great for fishing. There we go. Why did we pay you? you? In the end, you're going to have to pay to us, man. All okay. right. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was picturing that fucking fairy with her mouth open again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, stranger. I'm a cute little fairy. Yeah. I'm a cute little fairy. <laughs> Hi, baby. It's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> I'm trying to save the world. Yeah, seriously. No. Like, <laughs> fuck that. Fuck the world. Fuck everything. I'm off. <laughs> yep. Can I climb here? No? Okay. We gotta do it. Well, this was a dead end. Well, thanks a lot, game. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's just... Yeah. You're just... Whee! Yeah. It reminds me of that bit in uh, Takes Two. Did you play Takes Two? No, because just... I'm all because I'm all Takes One over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all alone. Wait, you don't have an Xbox anymore, right? Uh, yeah, you had the 360. Yeah. Oh man, it's a fun game to play. We should play it sometime. It's, lo it's one of the, those that company just makes co-op exclusive games. You can play like. Yo, oh, if you ask me for a date. <laughs> yeah, man. You don't have to say it out loud now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can't on stream. <laughs> yeah, if I propose live, you can't, you know, it's harder for you to say no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You put me on a difficult spot here. That's, damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> like, who does that? <laughs> uh, a seasoned veteran, my man. My dear sir. You're an expert. I got an aqua ball. I'm willing to share it with you if you come on a date. Aqua with ball. <laughs> we like. I don't know why, but I pictured the uh, the movie. Uh, what was it? Um, a Bug's Life, where they're like sucking on the fucking water ball things in the what appears to be a bar. Oh, I never. I didn't see Bug's Life yet. Oh my gosh. You I need to watch like it. it. You'll, you'll, yeah. you'll I put love it Toy when Stories, I but I never seen Bugs Life. I just never came across it. That's something. I, uh, Sasha can hear me. She'll probably add it to the list. I want to be a beautiful butterfly. Is it Kermit? I love it. No, that, that's uh, supposed to be the caterpillar. <laughs> I'm dying over here. Well, Yufkai, you shouldn't have come to uh, Master Rashi's class for picking up men. So. Why the why, why the hell wait Master Roshi doesn't pick up man? What, <laughs> oh, what Master know, Roshi are you talking about? <laughs> from the another world, man. From the another <laughs> from world. another world, Master yeah, Roshi. Another Master Roshi. I'm here to help you pick up men. <laughs> <laughs> man, when I grow up or when I grow old, I'm totally gonna be like Master Roshi, just living on a on a hut on an island with my turtle pal. Oh. I I'm not gonna be like that right now. I just don't have a turtle. <laughs> you didn't read the small print when you entered the stream. That's the that's your problem right there. <laughs> yeah, there were there were you, you already signed your rights over. <laughs> you pressed accept. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Wait, I know what we wanted to do in another world. We wanted to bring all this iron to Zappa to make something for us. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I want. I'll, I'll go back Forgot to another world. That. So we, we got our under the water boy. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's go do that before we move on, because there's gonna be some battles here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, too bad you don't have the um, the um, the forge, the portable forge thing yet. That's that so handy. After you get Zappa, right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's on that's definitely on disc two. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I I don't think I yeah I never actually recruited Zappa. I think I just read about it somewhere. Because like I said, after I beat this game, I read everything I could about it because I was 
mesmerized humans, like a human being, human being, oh, played a game like this. You know that ending? You know what I mean? Like with the live action footage? Yeah. It still gives me the chills. It, it's like... A lot of people criticize it, but I think it's a nice touch. It kind of connects you to the game. Because we're in the real world after all, right? Yeah. I thought, I thought it was beautiful. Yeah, thanks, man. Because I saw Anybody a lot of criticism about, about it. it but I, I'm not just easily pleased when it comes to like gaming in general. However, I can... I have a sense of beauty of what it is, you know, instead of criticizing, I generally look at it as something of a, like a, uh, like art, you know, um, it's, it's beautiful. It's different. Yes, it's different. However, I'm not going to criticize it for being different. I want to take it for, you know, what it's actually supposed to represent, you know, as far as uh, being a, a form of art. Except when it comes to Sean Hill Shattered Memories, then you're like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, just shit on, I, just, I just shit on that. I never heard you shit on any game like you did on that one. I was like, <laughs> I was surprised even. Like, you want me to solve a puzzle by flipping a can to get a key? Fuck this game. <laughs> that made me laugh so much. Was, was that when I was streaming it? <laughs> no, you were streaming something you were else, streaming but we were it. talking about Sun Hills in the chat. Oh, and then we yeah. got to shutter memories. I like to call it the shattered toilet. <laughs> the shattered toilet of uh, Silent Hill. I love the soundtrack, though. I like. Oh, yeah, I like. It's fucking awesome. I like what they. Okay, uh, I'm trying not to throw up. Um, I like. I like the, the different take on it. Like how it was done, yeah. You know, it was interesting, sure. Uh, but good God, it just felt it felt like shit. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, like the story was fucking great. I love that, and I fucking love the uh, psychiatrist. Um, yeah, like the that ending gets me every time. Still, I get the chills and some tears. It's really. Well written. Yeah, it's the story. It's, 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 it's well written. Yeah, it's just like the uh, the execution as far as the gameplay just gets redundant and stale. Like yeah, so. I blame the Wii, stale. man. I blame the Wii. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you put something on shovelware. You yeah. know. Because if they developed exactly, it originally for the PS2, I I'm pretty sure they uh, I, do I, different puzzles. I got it on P. I I bought it on my PSP when it came out. I well, it was on it. PSP. I didn't know. I only played it on PS2. Yeah. That's on PSP, I got it. Yeah, yeah you can yep. see, so with the analog sticks, you can see how those puzzles were. You can do them, it's no problem. I think one of the better ones for me was, you, you know, you gotta unlock the door, you actually gotta pull this shit out and unlock it, that's okay. But like you said, when it gets to a puzzle where you have three cans, you just gotta shake and see which one has the key, it's just like filler. It's not it really a puzzle. Very, it was very lazy puzzle design. It was like, it, it, okay, so like say say if you decide to say, oh, you know, you no. uh, you know the puzzles in Silent Hill 1, like the piano puzzle. That one is like famously being known for being hard as shit. Yeah, you, know, you really gotta pay attention to details. Um, um, or or the, uh, or probably the, the hardest puzzle ever was in Silent Hill 3 for the uh, uh, for the books. The, the Shakespeare, on hard, for, uh, Shakespeare yeah. on a hard difficulty. That is known as the hardest fucking puzzle in all of Silent Hill, uh, straight up. Now, unless you knew your Shakespeare, like you were a fucking pro somehow, you would be golden. But uh, otherwise, you, there was just no way of you knowing. You could sit there for hours trying to figure that one out. But And then when you play Sh Shattered Memories, you're just like, what the fuck is this? It's like my, my seven-year-old daughter can figure out how to solve this fucking puzzle. <laughs> that's how that's how weak it is. Yeah. When it comes to that aspect. However, the story fucking chef's kiss. Good. Good. Very good. Yeah, it's really one that's my second favorite Silent Hill story, really. Two and Shutter I like how we're talking about Silent Hill when we're playing Chrome Chrome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it always happens. We're enjoying it ourselves. Always. Yeah. Who's got the pick weapon? Who's gonna have that? Should I make one now or uh, wait for? 
Oh, that's the guitarist. That's Nikki, probably. Like, or is it a pickaxe? Yeah, you definitely. Uh, did you get a uh, kid geared up? Because that's definitely yeah. a. a uh, I think I got her first. Iron dagger. Okay. Yeah. She and Serge already had my iron weapon. Just get grab it for everyone else and some accessories. So, iron rod for Razzly that I won. Uh, what else? The, uh, the game it said uh, shattered memories is on my docket. Should I take it off? I'm not. I'm not no, saying. No. Uh, I, I wouldn't put it off. Um, it's still worth the playthrough. Yeah, yeah, like we I said, mean, it's got an amazing story. The story is top notch. Yeah, like it, it, yeah, it, it will just... make you cry if you have any emotions once you finish. No matter which ending you get, maybe if you get like the sleaze and the sirens, but still, you know, it's yeah. still the endings are great. The way you get the end, the way the game, because the game really follows what you do, and then constructs the rest of the story based on your. It kind of reads you. I love that. Like, th there's so much positive about it, but like John, <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just funny to me how John. <laughs> got pissed <laughs> widely because it, of the puzzles. <laughs> yeah, we, well, when it comes to that, uh, I, I, I try to look at it, you know, I see it as a good game. However, I see it, I see its weakness. Like, it's right in my fucking face kind of type shit. It's like you got slapped in the face and, you know, it just slaps you right in the face in the beginning with the puzzle. That's, <laughs> that's... And uh, the thing about it, also, there's one other weaker thing about it and this i firmly believe is the uh the sequences when you're running that oh you don't like those i like those. i i there is one unique thing that they do they throw you a puzzle in one they throw you a puzzle during one of those sequences um, the photo shoot um no it's the uh the the uh, the Toucan Sam one. I'm not going to go into Oh, yeah, that's the hardest one. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. No, there are several that's... of them. You got a photo ones. You got the. Yeah, the yeah. Like, fighting. I mean, that one looks like the real big one. Well, yeah. the parents fighting one, like, you, you, were, like, you were like, <laughs> that's safe your favorite. In there. Oh, that's your favorite one. What does the cow say? Moo. <laughs> Moo. Oh, God. That, 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 that. Oh, God. It's like, how many times do I need to listen to this? I just got to memorize the stupid fucking sounds. <laughs> What's the difference? Hold on. What's the difference between Iron Vest and Iron Nail? Yeah. So pretty much gameplay is meh, but great story. Uh, Iron. Well, I wouldn't best, say the entire best gameplay. Is I wouldn't say the entire yeah, gameplay. Best like is, um, dodging, more better dodging. So you want more dodging, or you want Iron Nail for better defense? Wait, Vest is better for yeah, because it's lighter, and Mail is yeah, better. It's yeah, because it's not showing me the stats anywhere. I forgot that. Yeah, uh, well, at this point, you know, they probably—I guess—they're just thinking the player has some knowledge of the differences at this point. When you had the coppers, where you, you know, uh, when you get in those and putting them on, um, if you got a character that has really high um, dodging speed, like Razzly, you want to give her an iron vest because she's yeah, that's maniac. what I thought. One is equipped. Who's got a vest? Surge has a vest. So we'll make yeah. two males. One vest. I'm gonna give Razzle the vest. What else before I go away? Uh, iron helmet. Wait, nobody can iron wear helmet. iron helmets? Really? Yeah, everybody can wear them. Oh, no, yeah, it's not showing. Yeah, yeah. Let me uh, see. Yeah, it's just showing who has one equipped of that said item. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, sis. I wouldn't oh, say like... We, oh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a bad game. Because, like, yes, it has weak aspects to it. Uh, or bad... Bad... Uh, bad design when it comes to some things however it's not necessarily as a whole it doesn't it doesn't subjugate it to being a bad game yeah and we agree on that at least <laughs> I consider a bad game that you can't play uh, let's let's put it let's well for example how about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde oh, that's, that's a, a bad fuck <laughs> no <laughs> shut, shut your fucking face I hate that game just like yeah, Friday man. the 13th on the NES uh, I remember doing that with Shuffler. That made me want to fucking shoot myself in the face. 
I couldn't get past the first fucking level. What, Freddy or, or Dr. Jekyll? No, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> he just came in to troll us. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, Waluigi. <laughs> <laughs> Her evasion oh. is now 24. <laughs> 20 fucking 4%. Okay, so... Digimon Survival looks pretty bad. No, actually, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a fun game. The world building is perfectly... like, uh, paced. Uh, there's a lot of dialogue, but it's a fucking RPG, so you know what you're getting into when you're playing RPGs. I mean, they're not, there's gonna be fucking dialogue. You know? <laughs> that's 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 a thing, um, and I actually like the combat in it. It's pretty fun. However, I'm not a big fan of the OST. It's not really you know, all that great. That's one thing I don't like about it. Unless there's some better songs. I am a mod. Why <laughs> is just like John tries so hard not to ban Ouija? I wish you the best of luck, Gammon. I really do, man. I'm off tonight, so I could actually see that if, depending on when you're streaming, because I have my own, my own obligations tonight. Like thinking of hippie while I sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's an obligation. You got to do that every day, otherwise the I have to. Hip in the sky gets very angry. Palms are sweaty. Weak knees. What was it? Legs are heavy. I don't fucking remember it. Mom's spaghetti, whatever. <laughs> I think I think this is it. Everyone's got iron. Iron. Let's get out of here. Got some iron. Do some iron in you. Iron. Can you do a splash X and body? No, I can't do one. Uh, I, I, can, I, 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 go, I go to Australian or something every time I fucking do it or something. <laughs> Oi, laddie. I got some more iron for you. No, it's, it's about it. I don't know if it's a, even accurate to begin with. It's one of the things I like about uh, Michael, not Michael, Mike Myers <laughs> is uh, like all well, the. Well, if I get like, uh, if I have print in front of my face of something I can read in a certain kind of like accent it helps me but on the top of my head when it comes to like uh like anything scottish or yeah forms of dragons that. hydros behemoths and they're all level 80 plus Ooh. I, uh, I i need to like for some actions i need like a trigger or a phrase or word like for arnold i always gotta start with come on because that's like yeah, that, yeah that's, you that's always have to do that yeah, you heard that, yeah. Nah, come on, get over here. It's me, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hi. Today, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm playing some Chrono Cross with uh, Hippie Tesla. Uh, <laughs> I like to exercise. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to pump you up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Susie 9 millimeter. <laughs> I'm right here, Easy sweetie guy. pie. I remember that from Conquer. I don't know if you were there for that episode. But he activates um, the Haybot, like the Terminator yeah, I missed haystack. Yeah, you were playing that one time. But I think I only missed like a very little like, yeah, section you, of it. I think you weren't for that episode. That was, that was, it was one of the early bosses you get like... Um, yeah, well, no, 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 no. I did see the Hay battle. Yeah, did? Yeah. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, one of them has rockets yeah. when he's launching. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was when you had the pitchfork and... Yeah, you know, when I'm the, riding the pitchfork. Yeah, and yeah. Then yeah. I like how the battle starts when he just like... The Suzy 9mm and this rocket on his shoulder speaks. I'm right here, sweetie pie. <laughs> oh yeah, um... Waluigi's actually playing through that game right now. Oh really? I, I forgot. I, I told him, uh, I don't know if he remembers, but I, I, I think I told Waluigi that um, you're a big fan of Conquer. And once you get on like, like being talked to about that, you just you just like you, you like fanboy about it, and I love it. Um, <laughs> so I was just like, yeah, I was like, if you want to talk to Conquer uh, or about Conquer to anybody, just hit up Hippie. He loves that fucking game. 
It's I love rare fucking, in general, but Conquer is just. Yeah. It was unexpected then. It still makes me laugh. Yeah, it's 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 comedy gold, it really is. You you would expect it to be like the way it starts. You would expect it just to be fart jokes and ass jokes, but it goes so far from that in the latter stages. Yeah, well, yeah, even then, it, it still has those jokes. Yeah, yeah, you know, but you know, it's just, they kind of do in classy because you can do fart jokes and still be you know not you know no classy, but you know what I mean. It's still like yeah, actually be funny. I like just Terrence and Philip. <laughs> Yeah, just all just they they kind of went the extra mile with it. <laughs> yeah, the right kind of mile, I guess. <laughs> Whatever you want to oh, call it. Oh, there we it. go. I mean, this is what I wanted to see. Gamut. Before we move on, because this is gonna be something here. Uh, good luck with that. You, I mean, you put me in the whole look for the Final Fantasy Tactics. I bumped it up on my list. I have this huge list of games I want to get. I don't even want to talk about my list. It's, it's where I found out that I never played uh, European Contra. I played the Japanese and American version. I never played the European Contra because it's fucking called Probotector here, not Contra. But uh, I digress. Like, Final Fantasy Tactics is now at the top of the list, like, among the top five. So I gotta get it. Because, like, I, 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 I saw one of his streams, like, a month ago. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I gave up as a kid. And it reminded me how much I wanted to play it, but I couldn't back in the day when I wasn't really good with these uh, mechanics. But like, I already said how much I love Final Fantasy XII. It's one of my favorite FF titles. Oh. And Vagrant Story is also up there, something I want to play. So I really want to connect the three and see the whole Ivalice. I like Ivalice as a setting. I think it's a really good setting. And the gameplay of Tactics is just... Addicted, if nothing else. I got Dirtly and Ludlow. Did you just call him Dirtly? <laughs> and Ludlow playing it. Oh, nice. So, by day, taking people off pills. By night, getting people hooked on games instead. <laughs> Pardon me. The village! <laughs> the wheel is... Oh, sorry, John. No, oh, no, go ahead. No, no, you're fine. I'm just making noises. Why, why did this... Rosetta! Everyone, no! No, it can't! It can't be! But damn, those dwarves are really going on town in them. Ah, uh, just when I thought it was a rarity to see humans on this remote isle, you all hi-ho along. <laughs> yeah, we all hi-ho along. Look at this island, it's beautiful, a perfect fit for our new home. Too good for these damn fairies. You humans taught us that the world is built on dead bodies of other species. Now, I ho away with you, along with the fairies, to the deeps of the sea. He probably means depths. He's illiterate. He didn't go to school. Well, hi ho with you too, sir. Wait, is she gonna get her thing now? Because this is this is this is the home world. This is where we kill the Hydra, right? So we're to blame why this is happening, correct? Correct. And yeah. you said she didn't fight the Hydra, so everything should go yeah. according to plan. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hoped for. Yeah. Yeah, Gamma, should that's go. that's that's the thing. That's so after Game of Thrones. Again, playing Final Fantasy XII, you get the same that like there's a lot of plotting and and backstabbing and actually throne stealing so I'm I debated about streaming that to be honest you, you did what? I debated about streaming Final Fantasy XII oh I'm gonna do it multiple times I'm sure yeah I was thinking about doing it at some point in my life but I was just like man that's oof oof first that's time took me 120 oof. hours to beat it but I did yeah it that's what I was like that's that's a lot of dedication for that. I was just like, man, I don't know. Fuck, I put that in me. Yeah, I think you were talking about streaming it at some point too. Or, yeah, all or Final Fantasies. You know I'm crazy. When I start them, I, I never stopped. I never didn't finish anything. Sometimes I gotta delay it because of life. Like Chrono and uh, Legacy of Kain. They really happened in a bad moment in life when we moved and all that. But uh, I'm like, I never gave up on something, you know, on a game, on a stream. Yeah. 
I, I do a lot of I, I do a lot of one-offs. That's a thing I do sometimes. If I feel like I'm not gonna really feel it, I'm just like, ah, we'll, we'll move on to something else. I just, you know. Wait, did I do that? I did steal. Yeah, I don't even know what I stole. I stole something. Oh, boop on the head, and he's down. Okay, Razzly, this is your arch nemesis. This is so. Yeah, that game Digimon Survive that I'm playing, game it. I think you would enjoy. Um, when it comes to like the uh, combat, it's very inspired by Final Fantasy Tactics, which I like. I've been playing that a lot. I was just like, oh, this is like Tactics. I like this. Good Digimon. <laughs> I don't that think I've ever, game. like, aside from... I, I don't think I've ever played anything that I... Uh, any... Uh, what, what would you call that? Like, strategy JRPG. Because it's not really full-on yeah. strategy. Turn-based strategy. It's like, ta it's like a tactical turn-based. Yeah. Tactical uh, turn based RPGs, or however you want to put it, I guess. Yeah. Like, I haven't played anything that I like as much as Tactics. If we. I don't know if you count, like, Advance Wars in that category, too. Because Advance Wars. Yeah, is, it's the, yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Even technically Fire Emblem. Yeah, so there you go. The Advance Wars would be a very close second. I like it. I, lo I, lo I like. I really love fucking Advance Wars. The first two. Well, some... The first, first one more, but yeah. Was it uh, something? Tactics Ogre is another really fucking good one. It's pretty much made by the same people that did uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. And it's it's fucking awesome. Do you like Tactics, John? Uh -huh. Yeah, I like Tactics. Yeah, I never talked about it with you. Yeah, I have a friend of mine that holds the world record for uh, doing the speed running for tactics. He's fucking phenomenally good about it, but his fucking thumb dies every time he does it. And I don't think he ran it before. How really. do you speed run a game like that? It's just... A lot of a lot of math, a lot of probability when it comes to like yeah, your, there's uh, a lot of luck in there it's not just skill it's it's yeah there there's a lot of fucking luck <laughs> it's the same way it's the same way when i was doing the uh speed run practice for uh chrono cross uh it's it's a lot of probability and um execution doing the right things because if you fuck up on something it could be detrimental to the run yep i imagine actually i don't even know if wisdom still uh world record i'm gonna look that up I want to see if anybody beat his shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to now. Theories. Which one is Rosetta, the blue one, right? Because I want to talk to her last. Um, she's the blue one. Gotta kill all the dwarves first. Sir, face me. You human bastards, you dare befall our new lands too? And off you two, there's a battle. I was showing all my stuff that I follow. What? Why? Oh, I just want to see the games. Oh, so you did do some off-stream grinding. That makes sense, because otherwise you'd spend your life there. Oh, you interrupted my combo, you asshole. Taste my blade! Then taste my photon torpedo. I mean, photon ray! Zha! Wow! Oh shit, he's still alive? Jesus Christ, man. Aw, oh, I shouldn't have killed him. I wanted to steal from him. Two and three. One, two, three seems to be the best formula. Like, even when you miss, you still have higher chances. Because I used to do a lot of two, two, three, or one, three, three. But that's like, then you can't use elements. This is way better option. Okay, I don't think it's the 97 version that he does. I think it's uh, for the Lions. I think that's one he's got it for. But no, I don't know. Fuck, I can't remember which one it was. God damn, Razzly's good. I'm glad I used her this time. Thanks, Sis and Sash. 
for Kittinger. She's so good, like for such a ridiculous character. Look at this. She's fucking destroyed. I know they're like the opposite innate element color, but still, that's like almost 200 damage from Tom the Tom. Which is. Oh yeah, I forgot to put new elements, man. We forgot to put new elements, John. Allocate. We got new slots, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you really wanna you want really wanna use gravitone and uh, meteor shower in these fights, and also green elements. Sorry, uh, I'm I'm failing right now. Eight percent. <laughs> gravitone is level three. Gravity blow. Yeah. No, I, well, I say Gravitone and Meteor Shower because they're AOE based attacks. Wait, meteor Shower, I don't have it. I just have Meteor Rights. Yeah, if you, if you don't have Meteor Shower, it's fine. But Gravitone is definitely going to help you when it comes to fighting them. Where the fuck? Where is your shit at, Wisdom? Sorry. Nostrum, hmm. I can't put anything here. What can I. Level 4. Yeah, Electro Bolt. So I'm gonna put an Electro Bolt here. Mm. For now, at least. Because you don't have that. Ice Blast could also be... You know yeah, what? I think another name on these. Yeah, if you don't, you don't have it. Kid, 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 kid. What are we gonna do with you, kid? Here's looking at you, kid. It does any percent glitches no math, I don't even see anything. It's being stupid. Whatever. But yeah. We're good. What did you mean by 97? I didn't want to interrupt your train of thought. Like oh, uh, I was trying to figure out uh, which one he ran, but I can't remember if he ran uh, 97 uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, like the PS1 version or... Um, or the uh, PSP ver version, uh, which would be the uh, the uh, whatever one, the, the 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 newer version of it. I did not know there is a PSP version. I only knew like yeah. the PlayStation One. War War of the Lions. I have that one on. I think I'm pretty sure it was on PSP. Yeah, I think I have that one as well as Tactics Ogre. Let us cling together. I know about Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. That's like. The sequel? Yeah. That yeah, game, game it would probably know better when it comes to what the differences are between them, but it, it's like a rebalance thing, yeah. As, as much as, like, I, I, my issue with those things is, like, I like it original, whatever it was. Like, I can't explain Yeah, it. but it's not like a, a huge difference kind of thing. It's, like, just, like, rebalancing issues and stuff like that when it came to it. So. It's still the, nonetheless, I think it's still the same game. They may have added some shit. I don't know. I, I, like I said, I didn't really play it all that much. I did play the original, however, um, a lot. Um, and Tactics Ogre, that's another one I also played a lot. Of. Yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. I don't think I really played my PSP version all that much. Damn, oh, they added. Cloud. They put fucking cloud in it uh, for. Um, I th well, I don't oh, know. Strife? Was he part of the original? Was Strife in the original, or was that just part of uh, War of the Lions? I don't think it I was. Think it's a different world entirely. I think I think War in the War of the Lions, like they put a character in there that you can get, and it was a Final Fantasy character, and I think it was Cloud Strife. I could be I could be wrong. Oh, Cloud is in the 97. Okay. Are you serious? Yeah, I didn't know oh, the difference. Okay. Probably like yeah. Uh, yeah, probably due to popularity of FF7. Yeah, I remember I remember that being a thing. Did you see the dialogue though? Monologue, whatever? It's just sad. Uh, not even voicing these fairies. It's really sad. I didn't oh, my even bad. Meet them, but... I probably I probably been running my mouth off too much. No, no, no. I mean, I, I, I didn't voice them because it's just so sad to even use my funny voice for this scene. Look at this asshole dancing on her dead body, and this guy is like jerking it off in the air. I'm gonna kill you all, you bastard. You shall perish oh. in the depths of the sea along yeah, with which one? Which one's the fairy that had her mouth open in the fucking dry ass wind? 
I think that was uh, the one next to Rosetta, the green one. Dwarf attack, go! Fuck those dwarves up! Oh! Shit, son, here you go. Dash and slash for you. Dash and slash attack. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so it was the. Uh, what they added was new jobs and characters. Okay. Yeah, I knew they added stuff, but I don't think it was like to the point to where it just like seemed like it was too much of a different game. Oh, wait. I like rebalancing issues. He is right. I remember just now. When I watched the. Uh, back like in 2007 or something uh game trailers which was still a thing released uh, those retrospectives for different games in the mm -hmm. final fantasy retrospective they talked a lot about uh, tactics and yeah I, that's where i saw cloud strife that's right it's not the remake can i climb here john i don't think there's a chest up there but I oh i can't I'm, I'm, I'm watching you fight a dwarf right now oh wow that's really laggy yeah, yeah I'm like, like wait. Two minutes away. Well, there's a chest at the top here. You'll see it later, but I can't get to it. Yeah, I'm about to see it here in a bit. I wonder if I refresh, it'll probably have a better. Uh, yeah, because the, the I noticed thing. that with your stream uh, and other people's stream. If I'm thinking, if I'm thinking about the chest you're talking about, I think you have to. Yeah, it's from the inside. You come out from one of the holes, and you'll uh, you can access that treasure. Okay, gamut. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because connects to the whole, you know, how like uh, everybody from FF7 is kind of descendants from people of Spear of uh, FF10. And it's just, it's not no longer a fan theory. They confirmed it. One of the developers at least confirmed that Shinra, the kid from FF10, actually achieves spaceflight. And at some point in the future, they colonize a new planet, which is Gaia from FF7. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised, really. <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy is all about that weird shit. I mean, they, like, do weird connections and, like, uh, portals of so-and-so happens, so these characters are here from another universe. I mean... Yeah, but 7 and 10 are specifically... Yeah, 7 first and 10 time are, like, connected. linked. Yeah, this is the yeah. same as told about 3 and 8. Because the world map of 3 and 8 really matches a lot. I don't know if you play 3, it's the one with the uh, sky world and the, and the like lower world. But then yeah. there's also Heinz, I think you would pronounce it, the, the sorcerer guy. You fight as a boss in 3, like semi early on. And then in 8, like the whole lore of 8 talks about Heinz who, who made the first witches, sorceresses. <laughs> and it's heavily implied that it's, you know, it's the same world and map and even like so you know the deep sea research institute where you find eden in ff8 yeah uh on that spot in the map in ff3 there's a important location and it's implied that it's sank and that's why eden is there i just love that kind of stuff it's a spiky haired weirdo and cloud is going why am i here <laughs> he's brought to Evelis. okay so since we're on this topic, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Here's another fun fact. Final Fantasy XII, Final Fantasy Tactics, and Final Fantasy XIV are all in the same universe, by the way. Wait, XIV? XIV is not in Evil yep. East. So, yep. Vagrant said, Story, Tactics, like, and XII are yep. Evil East. Yep, yep, they're all, they're all, they're all the same place as but well. XIV? How does XIV get there? It's it's weird. You go to oh, okay. You go to Rabinaster. Uh, well, I don't I don't I don't know if I should say this though. In case if you just want to, I don't know if you're just gonna look it up anyway. But now I gotta um, know. Now it's not a spoiler because I really want to know. So okay. I, so there's raids where you go to. Uh, I think it was Rabinaster, I believe. Uh, it's it's long. Like how do I put this? Um, it looks like it's like destroyed and stuff. However, like w when you first arrive. But you also fight all the, um, uh, what were they called in Tactics? They weren't called Edolans, were they? What, or like Final Fantasy XII, they were yeah, called yeah, they're whatever. Yeah, called, they're called Eidolans uh, in the summons. Were they? Yeah, Mateus right, and yeah, yeah, like you fight all of them as the raid bosses. Um, because I guess they're being resummoned. Um, like, uh, e like, uh, Okay, you do all that, 
uh, you fight because um, you go on a theater ship with a guy named uh, uh, Baltazir. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you, no. The the theater ship is with um, with a guy named Ramza, right? The theater ship because of mine. Yeah, yeah. Well, there it's a theater ship. However, uh, it's uh, you go you go to the um, town, and it's all it's always mentioned. However, I think it's on a separate continent or something. Because you know you go off to fly to the to the continent where I guess it exists. Well, yeah, because um, the Evil East would be just a, a, yeah, a region; it's, it's not a planet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, you just blew my mind. I didn't know that. Like I knew, so I knew. Like I keep saying the gamut. You know, I really want to start with tactics because I played twelve three times. I think so far. I love that game a lot, and uh, it's very pleasing to play. But I always wanted to play Vagrant Story and Tactics like fully and he just pushed me in that direction when he started this but then now you tell me yeah. 14 is in the same universe yeah the just... summons were uh transformed uh, i forgot what's her name uh there's this like uh like a head thing i don't know what what it is uh, what, oh, yeah they uh, have weird Ultima? names in, in evolution yeah, Ultima or something is it Ultima? i can't remember I, I don't know it was like a woman like on this weird head monster thing like uh, I fucking I, I guess if that's a thing in the games. I don't remember. Wait, I'm gonna check because um, I used to know they're all of their names. Espers, they're Espers, like in six. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like Espers, and uh, the characters from the game got turned into the 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 Dolan things or some shit. And, and uh, Ramza actually ends up showing up and uh, helping you fight her and everything. You know, he's in his classic armor, like the purple armor and everything. Um, yeah, but, uh, it's, it's just crazy, crazy how that exists in the same world. So I was like, what the fuck? I was like, they even mention it in the game and stuff. Like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, does it really exist? Like what? I was like, I feel like I'm just being fucking bullshit and you actually go there for a raid. I got to check that out later after the stream. I'm really interested. Maybe it's Zalera. Zalera was the, yeah, Zalera. Optional, she's an Osper, optional expert from Barring Passage. God, I remember the battle. Jesus fucking Christ. I think that, that's it was the one. It's the Ivalis Raids, is what it was called. Uh, um. I mean, maybe at this point they're just squeezing for money, because I'm really surprised they just put that in now after so many years. Stupid fucking. Things. Nice. We can get the. What is it called? Not the Cloud Buster, it was called. Damn. I guess I'm getting tired. How, how can I forget what's the name of Cloud Buster? Yeah, Sword? yeah. The region was destroyed, apparently, and it's like the remnants uh, of legendary land of Iblis. Uh, Yasumi uh, Matsuno is serving as a guest creator on the series when doing this. Ah. And also, um, Keita uh, Amemiya. Uh, the creator of uh, the Garo series as the lead monster designer for it. Damn, they really expanded the 14 team, have they? Yeah, so you do go to Rabinaster, uh, pretty much the, the, the capital city of Belmasca. Um, let's see. Oh, you're fucking shitting me. That's that's amazing, Gamut. <laughs> That's really good. That's good detail. Yeah, you can fight Yes, Matt. You fight what? Yes, Matt from uh, twelve. The big old fucking uh, dragon that took like hours to kill. Wait, I'm trying to remember which dragon from twelve. Not the Tiamat, but. No, oh, yes, Matt. It's it's a different one. He's like a big ass dragon that took like forever to beat. How do you spell that? I gotta see what the. Uh, it's a Y, I, A Z. Yes, Matt. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like Kia Matt's cousin. Yep. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We do ran a cataract. Okay, yeah, the one with the spinning discs. Yep. Yep. 
They will cool. that's the thing. Wait, let's let's pu let's pu <laughs> push this off. Yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah. Let's go let's, ahead. She's crying thing, here. Head. The music is just looping. Oh, no, I I'm, I'm enjoying this conversation. I just want yeah, we're, the we're, pain we're to end. We're we're nerding out. I'm sorry. I, I probably just yeah. made it worse. No, it's okay, man. Don't don't apologize. apologize. I, I'm enjoying this. I I I'm, I don't have an issue telling you like, okay, we gotta we gotta focus or anything. So don't worry about that. I just want the music to stop and curse to stop crying and finally get the skill. So let's go. Let's see. They killed everyone. Razzly, it's Razzly. You are all right. Aha, I'm all right. Where's Rosetta? The dwarves took her into the cavern. Quick, Razzly. Rosetta needs your help. Oh, that's Rosetta's. Oh, I thought this was Rosetta. Okay, so it's either this one or, or the one lying left for her, John. That sold sand. Oh, no. Oh, that's the one with the mouth open. Yep. Oh, I... <laughs> It's dusty. They killed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarf chieftain, speak. Hmm, I, I knew the comes. Now we must oh. confront you fools once again. I suppose this is fate. This ends now with your death. Die, human scum. This is a great screenshot. And die, human scum. <laughs> Show your friends. Show your friends the die human scum fly. Man, John, you know, like we we were talking last year. Fuck, we we're talking last year about uh, like co-streaming 14. Oh, Before oh lord! Happened. I yeah. can't imagine how that would go. Yeah. But where's my dwarf chieftain? Oh, come on, chieftain! I know you're there. So Daggy yeah, Dwarf, be... Daffy Dwarf, Dwarf, more Daggy and Daffy. Daffy Dwarf instead of Daffy Duck, huh? <laughs> Makes I sense. I guess we're gonna kill this guy first. Or not, actually, kid, you haven't, because you can steal. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say this guy has the, the most valuable treasure, I just have a hunch. I'm surprised it's already 2 o'clock. Yeah, man, time, like, 9 p.m. here, time just flew what we're doing here. It's funny, we didn't do much in the game, but it's still, like, the fun factor, uh, the fun factor was way up, because I wasn't doing this by myself, talking to myself and reading these lines, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, you wanna know why he could probably do that gamut, because he cross-dresses. That's why they allowed him to wear tiaras and barrettes. Yeah, yeah, from the, from the Final Fantasy VII quest. Yeah, yeah, that's funny that they did that. You know, I never like I beat the game twice, I think, maybe even three times. I never got to Honeybee End because I know that you gotta uh, mix a certain combination of clothing. But hard-headed as I am, I never wanted to look it up in the guide that I wanted to guess, so I never got it. Well, the difference is is uh, who uh, the Don picks. Yeah, but you can also get to. You normally cannot get into Honey Bee End until you're, unless you're like dressed in a certain way. And I think you gotta wear a certain perfume. Okay, if she's got an AOE, I'm gonna start with someone who's not been damaged. And pray to God I can do a triple. Oh my fucking god! One more time. Damn. Oh yeah, I should have known better. Of course you would know, game it. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they're all yellowing this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest star this guy. I gotta, really gotta heal Razzly. They took half of her health. Sheesh. Who are we beating? Dagged Warfe, I think. I mean, we didn't get far, far away with the conversation. That's. There's those, those are still square games. Final Fantasy, Chrono, Cross, Trigger. Um, Vagrant Story. It's all square games. 
Okay, maybe uh, Final Fantasy XIV is apparently, uh, it's, uh, I guess it's not connected. I've, I've done a little research with the ballista and everything, it's just like, you know, the little fun things, like, uh... Yeah, that's However, a... Vagrant Story is yeah. the same place yeah, as Yeah, Vagrant Story Jack is at least, yeah. Yep, same place. That's why I keep mentioning, mentioning it along with, uh, the tactics and... And 12. I like how we're just like vibing while you're just playing. We're just talking about other crap. I love it. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. It is. I'm glad Gammy's here. Welcome, yeah. Skylines. Gammy? Oh, hi, Sky. How are you, Comrade Sky? Wait, did I use Recover All? I did. Sheesh. I thought I just killed one character. Where's the Yorkan? Show these dwarves. That's what has Super attack! <laughs> Fuck you all dwarves! Wow, she dealt more damage to the further away guys than to ones that were right there. That's wild. Bink. Right. Yeah, the only difference with having Resley on, Resley on your team right now... Um, she just provides extra uh, dialogue when it comes to things for this uh, section, by the way, in case you were wondering. Yeah, but she also gets that skill, and uh, uh, she deals it makes super no, damage. Yeah, it, it makes no difference if you have her on your team or not oh, really? when it comes to skill. Yeah. Um, and, and it also doesn't matter if you fight every dwarf. It doesn't, uh, like, make it take longer, you know. Oh, kitty, not... Oh, that was very badly timed, kitty. She just jumped on. He doesn't give a fuck what, what I'm doing here. Yes, I love you, yeah, kitty. Kitty, don't fucks. She just jumped straight in, like, with the claws and everything. So the two items you really do want to grab here would be a magic ring and a scaly dress, by the way. You'll be finding them in this section here within the cave. Oh, you'll guide me if I miss something. Yeah, well, it's like, uh, well, one of them, I think it might be the magic ring I'm thinking of, was the one that you were looking at earlier. I don't think it was a scaly dress, I think it was a magic, magic ring. The chest, yeah, the chest up there, yeah. Yeah, the chest, yeah, that, that's exactly what that was. Yeah, it is the, the man, the myth, the legend. The legend. Oh, that was a bad one. The legend. The legend. Yeah, that, was, yeah that, <laughs> that made me <laughs> That made me cringe so hard, I almost broke my TV. <laughs> Kerr, what strength? I cannot allow our clan to be defeated here. Next time, the next time will be your last. Come after us, humans, if you want to save the fairies. Retreat! Dolbroff! Beardoff! Beardoff? <laughs> your parents really didn't like you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My mother had a beard. <laughs> she really did. <laughs> so I don't need to find these, fight these assholes. Just like, do I jump down with them? Do I use the doors? There's multiple choices now. Can I jump down with them? No, no. I gotta get down. Yeah. I'm too happy to jump down. Uh, yeah, the top one I think is gonna lead you outside. Um, to the uh, chest. Oh, to the chest. Okay. As much as I love all the Final Fantasy games, I really like in uh, Chrono games that you can avoid battles. Like, you, you, they're not random encounters, you actually see them. There it is, bravo, John. Magic Ring, got it. Yeah. Yeah? Yark. You do it better, you do it better. Yark. The Enrico Yark. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah? So you gotta sound like uh, like you're answering someone in, in the room, <laughs> like you're. Uh, yeah, screen. you don't even you don't even say it directly in the mic. You have to look away. You just go. Yeah. 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 That's it. That, uh, unfortunately, I can't do that. My mic is stuck. Umbrella. <laughs> someone is a traitor. Uh, uh. You sound like Marvin. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's not just me that notices that. It's like, oh, every time he goes, uh, 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 I'm like, okay, man, don't blow a load all over me. I'm just here to help you. 
Uh, I, uh, Marvin just <laughs> had Taco Bell. He, he just got <laughs> uh, he had Doritos, lo Locos, Tacos. So that's why he had uh, all that little stains on his shirt. He's not really hurt. <laughs> He's just got really bad indigestion. Uh, you know, you know that I told you the story. I think either me or Mark told you the story of my one and only time trying Taco Bell. So I can totally, I can totally believe that scenario. <laughs> like, uh, okay. did the zombies get you? No, Leon. It was the fucking Taco Bell. Oh, oh, oh. God damn! Doritos Locos Tacos. <laughs> okay, this is this time I didn't. Uh, this time I actually snorted, not on purpose. <laughs> I was like, <laughing laughs> no. That didn't have that effect on you sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I usually do this, do it for laughs, but this time I actually have no control over it. I just, I just truly snorted. <laughs> I'm fighting here without, without a mind. It's going well, sis, as you can hear and see. Like, <laughs> Gamut's in here as well. We're talking about Final Fantasy Tactics. Ivalice games. And then Sky walked in and he was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> where did I walk into? Oh, Lubica, we're, uh, we're, we're doing good. We are doing well. We are... I don't know what we're doing. What the fuck are we doing, Hippie? We're just chilling, chilling man. We're just two we're guys chilling. and off of the sides of the planet just chilling. 150 damage, Razzly, you sweet angel. I don't need much of Taco Bell, but I kind of want to see what the Crunchwrap Supreme is. I haven't ate Taco Bell for like a, a hot minute, but the last time I went there, I got a ball blast. Pretty good. Really? Yeah. I like Baja Blast. Oh, okay. I, I thought I heard something different. Okay, never mind. That oh, sorry. The Hank Hill came out of me. I just don't mind that. <laughs> Bah blast! We're gonna Taco Bell with Peggy, and we're gonna have a, a Bah blast. Okay. I don't know what you're referring to, so just it's Hank. It's Hank Hill from yeah, yeah. Just just look up Hank Hill and just listen to him one one day, and you'll be like, oh, that really did sound like it. No, this treasure is mine. I'm not giving it up. Who wants to fight us for it? You little fool. Uh, I don't need to tackle dead. Bell, but I kind of want to see it. Son of a bitch. I don't know, Gamut, if you know the story of tasting Tackle Bell. It was like a true Serb in the Wilds story. I was what like, the hell? Oh. <laughs> I really wanted to try it for a long time. This was my one of my like life goals was to try Tackle Bell, because I heard a lot about it. But, uh, hey, Terra! Welcome to the stream, Terra. Good to see you. Um, what? What in tarnation? I really oh. wanted to try it for a long time, so I'm like, I've been in England for like a week, and my uh, employer uh, arranges for me to go to Manchester from London, which is quite a trip to meet my best bestest friend, Mark. Like our first ever in-person meeting. We've been friends for like 15 years at this point. But, uh, yeah, man, you go. You go, go. And long story short, we like 1 a.m. I want to eat something on the streets of Manchester. I'm like, I want to try Taco Bell. I've been waiting for this my whole fucking life. So, I really want to try Taco Bell. He's like, don't, man. It's not really that good. I'm like, no, I got to try it. I, you, you, don't, you don't understand. I really got to try it. He's like, okay, suit yourself. So, we get there. We get one of those tacos each. I get outside where we, we went outside. It was like July, very hot, and uh, I'm like, "This is gonna be epic, man!" And it's a shame he didn't record it because he should have. <laughs> I'm unwrapping that shit. I'm like, "Oh God, this is gonna be something new, something different." I just take a bite, and I could feel, and he could see my face going for like, <gasps> oh, like hopeful to, you know, like what? I felt as if I tasted the best I can. Describe it as if I 
took a bite of a mason's shirt, sweaty shirt, after working all day, you know, on the construction yard. That's that's the vibe I got. And my face just like contorted it. And the only comment I had was like, this is shit, man. <laughs> so, it ruined it for me, really. Scary dress, there it is. That's what he talked talk about. I really expected a lot more. Hank Hill is a what intonation kind of Texan cartoon character. Wait, is that the... Oh, it's the King of the Hill. Yeah, it's one of those cartoons I have on my list I want to see. Yeah, I remember now. And I think... Is he voiced by the same guy who voices uh, the neighbor from Beavis and Butthead? I kind of feel like it's like that. The same guy. Hey, Tara, since I see you. Thank you! you. Uh, I need to get my way. Oops. Zdravo, Delmar. Zdravo. How are you, my friend? Zdravo. Yeah, John is here. It is the same voice actor. Okay. Thanks, Gamma. Yeah, I, I would recognize their voice anywhere. Them boys jerking off in my sh shed. Tool shed. Was it jerking off? Beating it in my tool shed? Them, them damn boys beat it off in my shed. Yeah. God damn it, Bobby. What is this discrimination? Why can't Surge equip the That's my purse. dress for female use only? <laughs> I like yeah. that it has that for female use only. Because women dress. get the extra power. <laughs> <laughs> you will not have extra defense. I'm, I'm gonna put it on uh, Kid because Razzly loses her evasion with it on. So Scaly Dress for. Wait a minute, she will lose two defense but get one magic defense. You know what? That doesn't pay off for me. I have better stuff now. So fuck you, Jess. I'm not gonna use you. Alright, Terra. Thanks for dropping by, though. How are you, by the way? I haven't talked to you seriously in a while. Just, just that. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I think we would be great comedy hosts, John and I. If we, could, if we could get Mark here as a bonus, man, like that program, because when, like, the three of us, if one gets tired, the other two can cover, if two get tired, then, like, one of us is still gonna be in full strength, that would be the best program ever. I'm not gonna lie, we said some pretty funny shit during the stream, I, I'm very enthused by it. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad, man, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm, I'm just glad we could finally come together for once after all this time. I yeah. kind of want to cry. Can I do that on stream? Anybody want to hear Senpai Trash Cry you know, live? I just want to say I just want to say that was very wonderful that you said, and I'm saying it because I'm about to ruin it. <laughs> because you said we, we can come together. Uh, my first thought is never cross the streets. <laughs> Are you saying? <laughs> I mean, in this case, we can have a like a Jedi battle. I'll be I'll be your, I'll be your Sith. You could be my whatever <laughs> <laughs> I'll you could be uh, you could be my jar jar beans <laughs> no no jar jar man I thought you loved me like fuck you you be jar jar <laughs> you're making the most annoying character in the history of cinema uh, honestly no you're 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 more like uh, what's a good uh Good comparison for you. You're kind of like uh, my Obi Wan. You know my Obi Wan. Can you get me? My Obi Wan. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut. I'm gonna <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> <sighs> Holy shit! Did you see that 205 damage with Razzly? Jesus Christ! Razzly is a cold blooded. Killer. No, I'm about to see it. I'm about to see yeah. it here in like probably two seconds. Well, bam. Yep. Yeah. Delmar. So much for wearing a fucking helmet. Let's go in order. Keep your trash with you. I'm good. Work is slowly trying to kill me as we're losing for our system magic. Ay, Chitera. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I hope it gets better. But I'm glad that you're better, like, than, you know, like everything, all the breathing difficulties you had in our past seem more alive, definitely, even in text. Jump carry. I'm gonna be come carry, and he's gonna be for Al Yankovitz. What, is, what are well, those like no. off-brand comedians? Jump carry and Weird Al Yankovitz? Is that like off-brand? Yankovitz. 
Yanko it's Yankovic, not Yankovic. Oh, it's Jim. not Polish, yeah. it's Serbian Croatian. Jim. <laughs> it's like Chinese <laughs> version jump. of the comedians. We have Jump Carry and uh, Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> oh, Delmar, so this is like, yeah, this is Hippie's favorite game of all time. Like, Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross are up there, but Chrono Cross is the most favorite game of my life. It's got nothing to do with Pokemon. It's a JRPG with a fucking convoluted story, very complex and very... Uh, it's hard. It's like... You want to... You want to give this to your kids, but at the same time, you don't want to give this to your kids because it gets heavy. Chrono Trigger was much lighter. So Chrono Trigger was done by... Uh, I'm just like going to do a quick Chrono uh, history for Delmar here. Chrono Trigger was made by Hiro Hironobu Sakaguchi, the creator of Final Fantasy. Well, conceived. Um, Yuri Yuji... I forgot the name. The creator of, uh, of Dragon Quest. And Akira Toriyama did the characters, like the design, the, the creator of Dragon Ball. You know Dragon Ball, everybody knows Dragon Ball. I think there was that, John, was there a fourth one? They, they were dubbed the Dream Team, basically. Like the best, yeah. the best they could find at the time. So, like, Chrono Trigger really blew Super Nintendo out of water. But then, like, four years later, Chrono Cross came out. And it's a very divisive game for a lot of people. Like, it takes a lot to see it as a sequel to Chrono Trigger. Well, Chrono Trigger did, like, a lot of time travel between four or five different time eras. Cross does uh, Peril Dimensions. So you're basically you're this boy who one day just warps into another dimension, like Peril World, where he died as a kid, and you're trying to find out why did he die. So yeah, the story is... Oh, JRPGs are not your jam. Too bad, man. Too bad. It's a really, really, really good game. Well, now you get to sit through the explanation of it, Delmar. <laughs> <laughs> Suffer. Whether you like it or not, you got to listen. You can't click away from the stream now. You're stuck. Oh, here we go. We, we, I reached the dwarf chip, and John, you're going to see it in a few minutes. So, you made it this far, but you will not find us so easy to defeat. We will settle our scores here by avenging the extinct Hydra and our dying homeland with your death. Why is there Yo, no is that Piccolo you? from Dragon Ball? What? Who who said that? Someone said that in my Instagram. Yeah, it was some. It was none of the people we know. Somebody, because I put it wasn't Piccolo. I uh, I put the cutscene of Chrono getting into Epoch. You know the one I mean, like when he starts. Yeah. Epoch. And I put the, as a thumbnail. I took the still of his face, and you can clearly see it's an Akira Toriyama character, right? Uh, oh, yeah, and somebody you, said. You could tell me. Shit, straight up. Yeah, he, like he has something like the way he draws eyes and noses and mouths. But anyway, this like someone on my Instagram said like, oh, uh, well, why does he look like Vegeta or I think it was Vegeta from DBZ like, because he was made by the same guy. And Imagine being like, in a cold spines. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> Holy fuck, shit! I forgot these guys have a tank. Any high ho tank? <laughs> I'm gonna kill the. We're gonna kill the foot soldiers first. I guess that's a good way to start the battle. I couldn't agree more with you, Taylor, right now. I hope I hope things get much better for you, by the way. I really do. Best wishes and hopes for you. Oh man, I totally missed that. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Yo, know, that's about that's a that's the way it be like when you go stream. You know, I I, I pick up some things for you. So if you yeah, it does help. I got your back. I know you do. Got you. I just I, realized you're from the Hiho tank. Yeah, that's why I said I gotta kill the foot soldiers first, right? And you said I would do the same. You could throw some gravitones or something out there if you want as well. Fuck! I don't know if I equip them. Oh well, we'll see. This guy is almost dead. I hope it gets bet better, Terra. Well, usually after you know, after dark comes morning or some such. I'm trying to be like white here, but uh, yeah, after after the the darkest night comes, the it can't get darker. It can only get lighter from there.
but yeah, I imagine you zoomed in pretty hard. The last time I remember actually talking to you when uh, we were playing uh, Left 4 Dead. Oh man, that was a while back. That was a long while back. Yeah. I don't remember how it was. I think Kara was trying to stream Left 4 Dead. I was like, oh, I like Left 4 Dead. And he was like, oh, join us. And I did. <laughs> it was fun. Let's see if we have those gravitons. Let's not forget that. If I forget, please remind me, John. Well, the gravitons? Oh, yeah. you're not going to need them after this. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think. Because Razlik can handle the tank, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're not really going to need it. I mean, it's not that important for this fight. It's just mainly for the other parts with all the other dwarves together. Well, that really makes it help. Greening this up. Bad eye temporarily decreases hold. Pulls attack hit percentage. That sounds useful in this situation. So I'm gonna do it. I never actually used that eye here. Here we go! Hi ho tank! Hi ho! Hi ho! Did it work? Oh, it did work. Nice. Wait, did it work on everybody or just me? That's the. It would really suck if it worked. I mean, on just the enemies. Okay, it didn't work on us. I hope you, you get the connection now, the dwarves. Yeah, I hope. I hope. Okay. Go to work, we go. <laughs> I figured out. Point that out. All right, I'm gonna shut up. To kill surge, we go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Jeez, who be blowing up my Discord right now? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dash and slash through the tank. Watch this, watch this. This is gonna be funny. Dash and slash attack, go! I just cut his threads, I guess. How did you guys get a fucking tank into a cave? It makes no sense. None of this makes sense. Get out. Get the fuck out of my cave. Ooh, I didn't steal from him, so I'm gonna do that now. I made the tank spin. You know, this is almost as good as when Sabin suplexes the fucking train in FF6. God, I fucking love that. Yeah, I mean, you can't not love it with a guy. It just... it, that's one of the greatest moments in all history is watching that man fucking suplex a whole ass train. And then put it back on track. Like, yes. <laughs> not even derail it, just like back on track, we keep fighting. I You're will never forget that. that. <laughs> Oh, like, there, you know what? There, sorry, you know I just want to point out. Here's what white is. It's paralysis. Par paralysis. I can't. Oh, use paralysis. Magic. Okay, yeah. that's what it was. Oh yeah, you finally got it. Okay, there it is. I knew it was something fucking weird. Um, yeah, but you, uh, you can also su he can suplex himself if he has confused. By the way. Yeah, yeah. So, so the first time I, I tried it on a train, I remember like, there's no way. You know, these moves never work on bosses. I was already, I already knew enough about about. RPGs, we know, you know, you can use a move like that on the fucking, you know, boss, it just, it won't let you, and there I am, picking the train up, lifting it upside down, <laughs> and then fucking, it takes damage. Body, a fucking train. Yeah. Oh shit, now, you, now you know, now you know who my favorite Final Fantasy character is, congratulations. It's just because something. Because of that. Yeah. He was very fun to play though. I didn't like what they did in the Steam version. Not the not the new ones, not the Pixel Remaster, but the one they ported from mobile to Steam. Yeah. I can take a lot with games. You know I'm very what's the word? Like I, I have a lot of patience for like shitty things. I I mean I can love shared memories a lot, that tells you <laughs> enough. But like that, well, that tells really me everything I need to know. <laughs> They're really, really annoyed, annoyed the shit out of me how they made the Sabin work on the Steam, like the mobile version, because I knew all those, like, you know, left right, left right, BA, like all his Mortal Kombat moves, what were they called? I forgot. But then they come with this and, like, nah, we kind of changed it. Fuck you. It's Mr. Cuffs. Yeah. So I can't cure, because I don't have the white cure element. Razzly's just stuck. They might even kill her. Who knows? 
Like the asshole wolf might even do it. Oh my god, I'm down to two characters and nothing I can do to, to make her feel better. Are you dead? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Nope, wait. He's gonna... Will you please, he killed her. He obviously is targeting Razley. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So now I got a reviver and then I got a healer. I can only do that once. So At least she's not gonna be paralyzed anymore. Okay, Razzle, you, you can end this battle. Yeah. Don't hit Razzle, please don't hit Razzle. Blue Element Shot. Okay, he's aiming at Kid. That's her Kryptonite, Blue Element. So she'll take some damage. But um, she'll live, I'm pretty sure. Yep, she took a lot of damage, but she'll live. Okay, Razzle, time to end this asshole. So... Uh, Let's do a rest star. I hope this is gonna do a lot to him. I didn't even check if he's yellow, I'm just assuming he's yellow. 201, there you go, fuck your tank, and fuck you, sir. He's still not dead, John. He still lives. I'm just telling you this because I know you're, like, a little behind. Yeah, I'm a little behind. I saw the 201 hit. Oh, wow, he's still not dead from that. Oh sh shit, okay, we, just, we can still salvage this, it's like the boss battle that fucked me over. So I gotta heal Kid now before I do anything else. You know what? Kid, I'm not gonna heal you, I believe in you. I believe you'll do the right thing, and that is... Burn this asshole. Okay. We got nothing green. So I'm just gonna try this. Fuck, I'm risking it. Do it. 57, is it dead? It's still not dead. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Just, just die. If that's all I need you to do, die. Right, now I gotta use magic to heal. Yeah, definitely keep your health up. I think I Especially Raz. Yeah, I fucked up. Now I don't know if he's gonna attack the next turn. But my... Cure uh -oh. all is on the next level. I just need to poke him once and hope he doesn't attack. Alright, recover all. There we go. Razzle's gonna save the day. She's got good magic. She can handle it. Oh, that's a good thing he didn't pop for an attack after you did that. Yeah, that was risky. But it was worth it. Yeah. There you go. White element shot at Kid. You already used dash and slash, right? Yeah, I already did. But I, I got more strong stuff, I just didn't expect him to be this much of a nuisance. 105 on Kid. Sheesh. She's back to being almost dead. Oh, he's dead. Okay. He's ejecting. There go. All the dwarves are ejecting, like from the clown car tank. Zipoom! Yeah, Team Rocket blasting off again! Speaking of Pokemon, Delmar. And yeah, there we go. We did it. We won. We got level 13 growth. Ma use consumables. Use everything. Just heal everyone. There you go. Copper and iron. Okay, one more cutscene. Urgh, such strength. Are we to be driven off our land once again? Oh, it's playing the music that you hear when you're fighting uh, Miguel. Miguel. Prisoners of Fate, I think it's called. Is there no land on this planet where we can live in peace? Oh, goddess of fate, why were we dealt such a hand? Are humans really the greatest species on this planet? You know, this monologue, uh, actually, the first time it doesn't have much of an impact as it does now, because he's calling upon goddess of fate. These heretics of evolution, these destroyers of the planet! Arr! And they vaporized. Sis! Sis! Rosetta! Rosetta! Razzly, is she your big sister? No, no, this can't be! Rosetta, answer me, please! 
if only we had gotten here a little earlier. Well, shoulda, woulda, oh, coulda, could. Confirmed it. I'm very sorry, Sergi. Your sister is fucking dying. This is no time for puns. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Sergi. Let me stay with Rosetta for a little while. Sure. Take all the time you need. I need to save and end the session anyway. Pretty late. So we leave her here now for a while, right? Yeah. I'm gonna... Then I'm gonna switch to Neofio for now. I don't use it, so I wanna see what it does. But I'm gonna save anyway and like we resume this on Friday. Or... Actually, I'm gonna ask John. Like... Um, if we... I'm gonna check something, because Mammon can't do Outbreak tomorrow, so... But he could do Friday. I gotta check if I can, but if I can and swap... Chrono Cross for tomorrow instead of Friday. Would that oh. work for you? Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm off tomorrow too, so... Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll look I'll look that up in the morning, because I'm not fit for planning right now, but... Uh, Serge, we're not finished yet. It's too early to go outside. I just want to save. Yeah, I think uh, you're forced to probably talk to the Water Dragon. We have to finish what we came here for. Oh my god, it's 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 accent as P's and H's as F. Sergi Pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see the Water Dragon. <gasps> Garden of the Gods is playing. Welcome, son of man. Now, come to me. Because uh, he, he had to reinstall his windows and he's got to reinstall the emulators and everything. He's playing on an emulator, not the console, so, you know, he's got to do all that. Wait, there's a pedestal still there, Serge. For fuck's sake, you can talk to the man. Jesus, okay. I mean, it works, I guess. There he is, the water dragon. The first dragon in the game, guys. Thou need not explain. I know already what thou seekest here. You know, the first time I played this, John, when I got to this part, when I saw the water dragon using, like, old English, I hoped so much that it's Glenn Frog from Chrono Trigger. But, like, after finishing the game, I was grateful that it wasn't him. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I can see the similarities. He, this dragon, the the water dragon, does kind of look like a frog. So yeah, and he speaks with the old English accent. Yeah. There is not to be surprised about. It is but a trifle, trifle for we sleeping dragons who have dwelt upon this land for ages. Mount Pyre, the land thou seekest, is home to the fire dragon. Unless thou quench his red blazes, it will prove a difficult journey. Take this, son of man. My breath can freeze even boiling lava. So we're gonna use the first place we're gonna use this is back at Radius's pad. Because we're gonna get a party member there if we do it. Surge has been bestowed with the ice breath. Mentos, the fresh maker. <laughs> Take my subordinate as well, it shall be useful in holding back the fire dragon of Mount Fire. Surge has been bestowed with the frog prince. Fuck, that's 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 another reason why I thought it's frog. <laughs> we got the first summon in the game. Will thou the summons be very helpful. Will thou change this world or will thou change thyself? Will thou live on with thy mother planet, or will thou turn thy back on the planet and tread another path? Okay. That's... These are the moments I love in these this game. These games, but this one in particular. They said that they were chased out by... Oh, wait, who says that? The forest by the humans! And they drifted down to our island, so the humans are to blame. Well, I better not tell them what we did before this. Because, you know, they dwarves are here because we fucking destroyed the marshes where they live. It's great how this game makes you live with the consequences. Trigger had that, but Cross has it, like, in a heavier hand. 
Because of you humans, our village, our friends, have all have been made victims. <laughs> yeah, I like making voices. Why can humans live in harmony with nature? Why do you continue to act the way you do? Don't you see that the outcome of your choices will be in the future? Why? Why? Razzly, you're a fairy! No, wait, that's the coarse uh, throated one. Razzly, you're a fairy, so come back to us. You don't have to be with those humans. This is very sad, and I'm making it. I'm not doing it justice, really. But. Sorry, I can't return to the village. I'm still a fairy, but. But I'm also friends with Sergi and the others too. I can't betray them by coming back. I mean, you can go if you want, but we will miss you. Sis, everybody, I'm sorry for all this happened because of us. Presley, are you really going? Yes, please take care of Rosetta. Please bury her on Moon Isle so that she may forever watch us over us from above. I am leaving this island for a while, but I will return someday. Until then, goodbye. Wait, did she get her thing? She should have gotten. You don't get it. You don't get the level seven tech yet. Oh, it's a level seven tech. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's save here. Let's save here and end the session. Um, my mind is already blanking. Like if Joan weren't there to keep me sane, I would probably be rambling. Oh, dude, I'm hella tired right now. <laughs> I am so sleepy. I still got some house chores to do before I go to bed. Sheesh, man. All I gotta do is eat and potentially play some Eternal Darkness with Sasha. But it's already 9.30. I don't know if I'll even do that. Yeah, I was gonna do some art, but I was just like, nah, I'm gonna take care of what things I need to do and I'll, I'll just do all that shit tonight. So... My son's talking. He's chanting. He's chanting that ancient magic's I can hear. Oh, he's something like Cthulhu or some shit. I don't know what that Maybe is. Maybe he's he's calling on Chucky. Remember the Chucky sp uh, uh, spell? Oh, Ade, Dewey, yeah. Dembala, give me the power. <laughs> <And> I <laughs> I beg of you. He's doing something, man. I don't know. I don't know if it's safe anymore. I'm scared. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Uh, if we don't hear from John tomorrow, we know what happened. Yeah, I'm probably not. I'm probably gonna be gone, guys. I'm sorry. I miss you all. <laughs> he was sent to the peril dimension by his son. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Uh, all right, folks. That's that's that for today. I keep like I keep forgetting I can do this. Thank oh, you. Look at my tired eyes, man. I'm tired. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, everyone, you for watching. Sis. Bye. Sis, stop interrupting with my voice. <laughs> Thank you, sis. Gamut Delmar. Sky, Terra, who else? I have a, uh, I have a raid. Uh, oh, you do it, okay. Because I, I thought like, it. okay, you do that, you do that. And special thanks to John for sitting here for two hours and just doing this. Playing Shin Megami Tensei Four, by the way. Oh, that's a good segue. Okay, JRPG to a JRPG. Wait, you do, you do know you have like? A oh, redeem? I spelled his name completely wrong because I'm I'm fucking stupid. You should be able to <laughs> use the redeem. Rinneth. Uh, yeah, I redeemed it. Did you? Because it said. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, Guide rate. It took a while. A while. Okay. Yeah, Let's my see. bad. I, I spelled his name completely wrong. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I did it right this time around in the chat. Unless you want me to spell it to you real no, quick. No, it's okay. It's okay. Because I can copy on PC and then it syncs the clipboard and I can paste on mobile. So no problem. Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, he's a good buddy of mine. Okay, I because I normally don't raid like people I didn't check for some uh, myself. You, can trust or, me you know on why? This one. But yeah, because it's John. Let me finish. <laughs> because it's John. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't <laughs> even think about it. Because if whatever happens, mm. I can always say, "Officers, it was John." <laughs> yeah. So if something fucking happens, you can just fucking blame me. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That works. <laughs> Thanks everybody for having me. I love you all. Have a wonderful night. Bye everyone. Bye John. Thanks again, and see you soon. So, mwah. Mwah.